Oh, with the headphones. Okay, let's go back this way. Ooh, what the hell's that? Oh, it's got tracking! Oh, it's got tracking! That's rude. Oh, and it's got a shield? No, wait, I can do no damage to it. What? What? What is this? I'm perplexed. Oh, I I have to hit the ball? I'm playing tennis. I have to play tennis with it. Oh, that's funny as fuck. I I have to play tennis. That's great. No, the regular attack was doing it. Oh, boys. You you picked the wrong time there. Funnily enough, grenades don't care about grazing hits. So, uh, that works. Uh, wow, in fact, you could do that a second time. Can he really do that a second time? How many of those has he got left? Three. Fuck it. Totally worth it. <laughs> now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a war crime. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just hit me funny. I don't know why. Why throw one gas grenade when you can throw two? Oh. Uh, okay, this is a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a shield. But that's fine. I've I've got I've got tentacles. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you to our Lord and Savior? Oops. He's not dead. Fair play. He's very not dead, actually. Oh God. Oh, I have to fight him in this room. Okay, luckily he's not. Oh, hang on. I had to hack my way out the door. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now he's dead. Oh! Oh my god! I hit him so hard, his... his... Oh dear. Be careful with your tentacles, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise this could happen to you too. Yeah, yeah. I marked it just up the road. Alright. Oh, that's, uh, that's an entire... Convo, not convo, oh, yep, that's place. a that's a that's a posse. Yep. Shall I start minigunning? Uh, you want to start minigunning? I can. Oh, I can't. oh that was me! Sorry, I deployed my drone and it killed the helicopter. I forget he threw it up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. That's entirely on me. <laughs> Any landing that you walk away from, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, the bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And the fact there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 oh. I mean, is that like hello in rock person? What the fuck was that? <laughs> that sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, what? Come on. Holy shit, time to go. <laughs> Where, where am I extracting to honor? Because I need, I need. Oh, oh god, everything's exploding. Tremors detected. Well, yeah, no shit. We just introduced a black hole into the middle of the planet. How do we get out of here? Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god, there's fucking shriekers! Are you fucking kidding me? What? This is level one. We're not supposed to have shriekers. What the actual Christmas fuck? That's not right! Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Who 
a silly idea was this? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hmm. He should not survive that. This enemy soldier is pinned down. Hello. Oh, I shot that guy instead. Oh, he broke my overwatch. That's rude. A hundred and four? I'm gonna make it. Tell my agent, release the nudes. A hundred and four? What the actual fuck? Well, uh, who's got the next best uh, skill other than Fox? Because she's the one that. Well, that's that was that was not ideal. That was not ideal. Well, uh, uh, no, no angle. Right. Let's just uh, park just just park in front of it. Yeah, that works too. Oh, I nearly just minigunned the village by accident. That, that would have been I mean, there. the village is shooting at us. Well, that's true. Oh, piss. Oh, oh my god! Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> <laughs> that ambulance was stopping for no one. Oh, that I didn't realise it, it was that close, actually. I didn't realise the physics was on its side. What on earth? It had the mass advantage. It really did. What the actual? That shouldn't have uh, happened. Oh well. Points for effort. Like a helicopter. Uh, yeah, we have to. We have to just um, uh, talk about dismantling them because we're. I decided I don't like being a religious person. It's it's not fun. Our uh, presence in the galaxy has not gone by. On oh, they have a little heart. Oh no! Are these nice people? They might be nice people. No, look, their, 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 their symbol is a little heart. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's I, Hamster of Wrath, back with Terror from the Void. Well, Phoenix Point, Terror from the Void. Terror from the Void, Phoenix Point. You get the gist. Um, I hope you're all doing very well. We already have some lovely people in chat. We have Infernal Icon, Math, Quinlist. Have I missed anyone? I uh, don't think so. But welcome in, everybody. I hope you're doing very well. Um, yes, it's entirely possible this entire thing will go down in flames, but that's that'll be fun too. Um, so let's load it up and uh, see if I can remember where the hell I left off. <laughs> let's make sure I actually loads the right game. Uh -huh. See, so yeah, our stream prep was a little bit rushed today, so I'm kind of hoping um, I didn't forget anything vital. Uh, if I did, that could also be funny. So. Uh, Stay tuned. I think we were going to swap some personnel out, weren't we? Because somebody was very injured. Ah, yes, here we go. And then we were pondering maybe pitching in on this for, like, some goodwill or something. Is this not built the sodding... No, oh, it's taken three days to build the damn thing. Okay, that makes sense. A cheese wheel? I've just had dinner. I don't think I need a cheese wheel. Having said that, I'd probably nibble a cheese wheel if I had access to one. Um, I would probably still nibble it. Actually, one thing we are going to do quick. Um, Where are my heavies? There's my heavies. All right, let me have a look at this thing with the whole armor going on here. Right, so they need the midsection torso bit for the jump jets. So the trousers slow them down as well. They have heavy trousers. I can relate. So I wonder if we swapped the... Uh, gave them some... Uh, the assault trousers. Because that actually will mean... Their speed is somewhat unnerfed then. That's not too terrible. And... That gives them the accuracy boost because that's actually a sniper hat. I should leave that on there. Let's give that a go. I was thinking about this the other day. Hey, Serini, how's it going? Seven soldiers on Hamster of Wrath might make a difference. Maybe. 
maybe, maybe we'll just make the situation um, worse before we win. Maybe. Uh, are these all heavy armor? I could have sworn we had some. Do we not have any assault trousers left? Phoenix heavy leg armor. Phoenix heavy leg armor. Sniper leg armor. Oh, we don't have any assault trousers. Oh, okay. Put on my fighting trousers, but this guy jumps further with the jetpack anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. Making this situation worse would still be making a difference. It's true. It, it, that is true. Okay, so we we're going to swap out our absolutely buggered um, personage for the person we have resting and then go see if we can help with this. And then maybe see if we can advance the plot if nothing else gets in the way. Which it probably will. Uh, new Jericho Fort Churchill is broadcasting an SOS. They are under attack. Fort Churchill? Where the hell's that? That's not the one I'm going to. That's Fort Eleutheria. Where's Churchill? On the other side of the fucking planet. They can live with it. Because 23 plays 10. I'm sure they're fine. I can't do it all, goddammit. Okay. Right, so what we're going to do... Sophia is absolutely buggered, so what we're going to do... We're going to take all her stuff. There we go, like so. Uh, I don't think you should help with this if I read that colour correct. Is that Pandorans or the Pure? I think it was Pandorans. Um, pretty sure it was, anyway. Uh, empty ready slots. Yep, I know that. That's fine. Uh, let's put you in Phoenix Point. There we go. And then we have Quinlist. We'll put them on the Manticore. Uh, now I have a funny thing, Quinlist. Does Quinlist have the good assault rifle? Yes. Okay, that's good. What I wouldn't give for another pair of assault trousers, but there we go. Uh, let's have a look. I'm pretty sure that was... Is that the pure? Nah, it's Pandorans. Yeah, both of the Pandorans. They've already... They've nearly won that, to be honest. That's... As as we've moved, they've killed most of them already. Um, in fact, I think this is probably going to be virtually over before we get there, actually. There's only three Pandorans left. I'm not worrying about that now. That, I wanted to swap the personnel around, so that's fine. But, um... Yeah. Okay, this also means, hang on, I've got a spare pair of trousers now, haven't I? Um, ba -ba 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 Stealing people's trousers. Well, where's the leg armor, then? I unequipped it, so it's got to be here somewhere. Heavy. 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 Sniper, sniper. Where did her stuff go? I'm confused. Uh, hey, Bamboozle, how's it going? Do it, it's free rep? Oh, okay. Hang on a second, I'm now slightly perplexed that there is a pair of trousers missing. That's weird. Because I just took everything off bloody Sophia, and now she... it's... What? Did that not take? Where's her equipment gone? Unequipped all the items currently equipped by the operative. Yeah, where did they go? Heavy, heavy, heavy. Sniper, sniper. Wait, was she wearing heavy? Was she wearing heavy leggings? Next to the helmet in the second row? Uh... No, it's not. Oh, yes it is, it's there. Oh, why is it there? Okay, right. I'm having a senior moment. I'm having a senior moment. Yeah, there they are. Okay, that was filtering in a really weird way. That was filtering in a really bizarre fashion. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so now they have more speed. Cool, that works. Right. 
So, uh, I mean, the likelihood of us getting there before they actually win that is pretty low, but we'll give it a, we'll give it a crack anyway. Let's give it a go. There we go. We're overrun! There's, like, literally, like, two Pandorans left. Attitude change on victory. Uh, plus six... What's that? Oh, plus six defending strength. Okay, and plus eleven... Oh, interesting. And 70... Oh, you get resources! Oh, hello! Right. That makes a lot of sense. So I had an awful night's sleep last night. I'm going to have to take things a little bit slower than usually. Um, Yeah, that's cool. I did wonder where we were going to get our next thing of resources from, so that's cool. Let's go with that. So this should be pretty pretty straightforward because um, everybody is mostly dead. The bad guys are mostly dead anyway. Right, hang on. That means we've got a spare gorse rifle, haven't we? We should have a spare gorse rifle. Um, there it is. That's what I was looking for. Uh, I'm go I've gone ammo blind today. Uh, gun and ammo blind. That is my current state. Okay, there we go. That's better. Right. There is literally two Pandorans on the map. So, uh, I feel we can probably handle this. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, Haven Defense Mission, Structure Defense. Defeat all enemy forces before you damage the key structures of the Haven. You can take control of Haven Defenders by moving next to them if you wish. One surviving Haven Defender may volunteer to join Phoenix. The unfortunate thing about that is we haven't got enough room for them in the bus. But more personnel is good. I mean, unless we build another bus, of course. Right. Um. Okay, gotta be honest, these guys still... Oh no, they can still, they can move pretty far. It's the guns they can't shoot with, that's fine. Right, this is our crazy uh, Anu cultist guy. He's quite fast. Where is everybody? We don't know. Is there nobody here? Maybe there's nobody here already. Just glass the place. That would probably defeat the object just a smidge. Aha. Uh uh, oh no, that is a friendly. Okay, that's fine. Moving to coordinates. Uh, not seeing any bad guys yet. Oh, unless they don't deploy. Oh, okay, I think I see how this works. Right, sniper gonna snipe. Uh, where are you gonna snipe from? Behind these crates. That sounds like a good idea. Go there. Yeah, I don't think uh, glassing the place would endear um, us to the New Jericho people very much. Just, just saying. <laughs> How wonderfully mismatched my heavy is. That's quite funny. It's like, if you had a wardrobe malfunction in an army surplus um, place, that's that's basically what my guys look like now. Which is kind of funny. Okay, so, amusingly, doing the mishmash with the armor, uh, he's got 26, and they got 29, so we're not losing that much by not using the, the heavy trousers, so this kind of makes sense. Heavy trousers. Okay, I'm assuming the Pandorans are going to spawn in from somewhere, because we are not seeing any right now. I think I just could hit the end action, end turn button, and that does the same thing, but never mind. Oh no, it says Pandoran activity, so there's got to be one somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh, right there! Uh, Pandoran supplemental poison spitting. Oh, is this one of the spitty boys? Oh dear. 
And he deployed his shield. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, we got a strangler over there. How we can see that, I don't know, but that's fine. Uh, something else happening that I'm not privy to. Okay. So, is this guy just gonna sit there and let this guy wail on him? It kind of looks like it. Where's my sniper? You can't see shit from where you're standing. That's good. That's a good sign. What about here? Can we transfer to this crate? That looks good. Right. Can you shoot that guy in the... Okay, I have a complaint. <laughs> I, I'm going to let you guys figure out what the complaint was for a couple of seconds. When we started attacking this, it said there was only two Pandorans. I'm counting three. <laughs> I think our military intelligence is is not living up to the uh, not living up to the name there. Uh, right, he's behind his big shield. Um, could knock his arm off. Hey, the Archaos. Is that the one? Is that his attack pincer? That's his attack pincer. Okay. Agile leg. Other arm. I mean, oh, considering this is a gorse rifle, we could just punch through it. But then I don't think that's going to do an awful lot of damage. Um, Let's try for the torso, and it will probably bounce off the shield. Let's see what happens. Oh, miss entirely. That, that works too. Is one of the enemies a mind control Jericho Pete? Uh, no, he's uh, supposed to act on his own, but he was quite reluctant to do anything. How did I miss that? That should have hit something. <laughs> but apparently it didn't. Uh, b -b -b boy. Okay. So where was that other strangler? Because, oh, he right there. Oh, I misread the map there a little bit. I don't know how we can see this guy. But we can see them, so that works out for me. So let's do... Let's do Quinn list. Let's do... We can shoot and then do Overwatch, can't we? Up a shot. That's not going to happen, because it might. that's more likely to hit the bloody Jericho guy than it is anyone else, so that's a terrible plan. Um, Let's Overwatch over here, because this guy is inevitably going to be a problem. Um, Okay... Now, where is... Okay, right. So that's going to do two action points. And... Oh, no, it's the other guy that has the melee button. Bollocks. Okay, so that'll cost everything. Overwatch the wall. I'm not overwatching the wall. I'm overwatching this bit. If he can come scuttling through here, it'll still hit him, in theory. Right, how close can I get here? Not within bonking distance, which is rather unfortunate. Um, because that could be quite handy. So that's kind of sucky. Right, Mad Axe guy. We have to time the tempo right on the Mad Axe guy, because, uh... Or we could be really clever and leave him out in the open a little bit, and then just overwatch this area, and then if they come for him, they'll get shot to shit. And then if they survive that, then he can hit them with his axe. I like this idea. Let's give it a try. Like the wind. Like the wind. Enemy spotted. Wait, you've spotted a fourth one? Oh, there's like literally one standing in the middle of the street. I don't know how no one else saw that one. How did my sniper not see that? It's literally there. What? What is happening, game? I'm confused. Should have been able to see that from where you were, but apparently not. Okay, then. Um, I don't like this. They've got shields. That makes me sad. Okay, let's continue with the idea. Maybe. Oh, what's he, what's he got here? It's still Frenzy. Uh, we could do the whole instill Frenzy thing. That might be an idea. Magic Pandoran. It did look like it. Dash up to half your movement range, limited to two uses per turn. Okay, that's not useful right now. Yeah, the game the game is being dishonest. Yeah. 
I would have thought the sniper would have had a line of sight on that guy, but apparently not. I don't like this trite thing over here. So actually, I'm tempted to double overwatch this over here. Because I really don't want him getting into a back line, because that would suck absolute balls. So let's do that. Okay. And once again, our heavies are of limited use here because we won't be able to hit a broad side of the fucking barn. We can redeploy really quick, so maybe we should do that. Um, in fact... Hmm... Do we think they'll pick on the defenseless, uh... Defenseless, um... Jericho guy, or come after me? That's a question. Let's short chuck it. Let's go over here. Um, and then there's bugger all else we can do. Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, I haven't got my, that much firepower left actually. Hmm. Okay, so that's gonna jet back and shoot. So we should probably do that. Oh, it's saying I can't actually... Can I see somebody from there? I can see them from there. Okay, I can. Merc the Jericho guy just because he's there. That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking. Oh, God, that costs three to fire. I forget about that. Okay, so we hunker down. That works. Okay. Still getting used to the whole flow of action points and stuff. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, that leaves our axe-wielding guy, who really probably should be, like... Let's use them to babysit our heavy and see how that works. That was probably not optimal. Um... None of action points. Come to armor break. Uh, stand by, I guess. Oh no, he just turned around and murked the guy. Holy balls. Fair play, sir. I see the suckers. These guys are not defenseless. I needn't have worried. I needn't have worried. I don't know what I was worrying about. Hey, Moon Eyes Plays, how's it going? I take it back. That guy's going to get slaughtered as well. Um, I'll give you a shout out shortly when I figure out what the hell's going on. Oh, he's coming after my. Okay, he's coming after my guys. Interesting. Okay, why did that other one not move? That's strange. Oh shit, that was a misclick. I was trying to get the I, I was trying to get the I was trying to get the fucking screen to refocus and that was that was a misclick of the ages. Good work! Never mind. Okay. Right, what we got? So attacks now cost two points, so I could jump pack and shoot somebody. That works. Uh can we still see this dickhead back here? There's another one lurking here, but I can't see him. I wonder if he can't actually get through there. Hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm very bad at it. Never beat it. <laughs> Don't worry. I am not what I would say the best at this. I'm still getting used to the action economy a little bit. Right. Dash up to half your movement range. So, that costs an action point. So I can't... Am I not being able to... I can't axe somebody. How much does it cost to axe somebody? Two points. That's not going to work, is it? Because... get Can I even get over there? Okay, I can get over there. But I need to have two points left in order to do that. Okay. Hmm. Huh. 
so far we have not contributed at all to this fight, which is really quite funny. Dash up to half your movement range. So that'll leave me with three points, which might be enough movement to hit this guy. Let's try it. Never used this skill before. So if that puts me there... Okay, so... I'm one hex short. One hex... Oh, no, wait, I can do that again. I can do that again. That's hilarious. Now I can definitely hit the guy. <laughs> now, you see, this, that is... Um, muscle memory left over from XCOM, because... I keep thinking all these things, you can just use them one once in a turn. Uh, and it turns out that was not the case. This might not kill him. And it didn't, so I'm glad I was proven right. Um, he is bleeding for 30 though, but the trouble is if he hits my guy, he's going to heal up again. Which is going to be super fucking awkward. Um, but there we go. Yeah, uh, I know people weren't super happy with some of the DLC that came out, but that's kind of why I, um, went with this mod, because apparently it tinkers with a lot of the DLC. That's not a great shot, is it? I mean, if I blew his arm off, that'd be funny. I feel that's possibly not the best use of that, but then that's literally the only thing I can see. Uh, I can actually shoot and go into Overwatch in the same turn, so let's do that. Not expecting anything here. And I've been wrong! Killed the guy stone dead. Okay, sure. Sure! I mean, why not? I'm okay with that. Uh, AP reduction shot more than once per turn. Oh, yeah, look at that. Huh. Yeah, I was looking at some, uh, like, tips and tricks for this, and apparently they, uh, s uh, a lot of it says I should have probably focused on the stats of my dudes before getting all the cool skills. But I was like, cool skills. I like cool skills. Um, so uh, we'll see how that pans out. This is terrible, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, due to errant mouse clicking, uh, this person can do now absolutely cock and all. Um, so we're going to run over here. Right the Nella Sniper at level 3 gets the skill to reduce their next shot's AP cost by 1. Oh, nice! Right, okay. I am worried that Strangler is back there. That concerns me. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep overwatching over here because oh, I I have watch. doubts. Right, we have our assault guys. So because I hunkered down, I can jump and I can shoot. Uh, though this guy's been very clever and I can't actually see him because there's a fucking generator in the way. I'm kind of hoping he bleeds out before he hits one of my guys because that would kind of suck. Uh, so anyway. <laughs> Cock and all, attorneys at law. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to finish my coffee before I do anything else. Ugh, I need to chill down a little bit. It was a, it was a slightly manic, um, slightly manic stream prep. Can I? Is there a potential vector here? I'm going to try it. Can, I do this? Can you do this? That's a good question. You could have misplaced your gun. Oh, there it is. You can't see him, can you? Because there's a gantry in the way. Bollocks! There's a, there is, in fact... Oh, I didn't see the stairs. I was at this level. I thought this was open. There's a, there's a fucking set of stairs there. <laughs> What a fucking banana. 
I I utterly failed to notice the stairs. Uh, I've got the skill uh, jetpack control, which means I can... I spend willpower, but... Oh, God, I'm nearly out of willpower and all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, mm, or destroy the stairs. I am actually half tempted to see if I can shoot through the stairs. Holy shit! Okay, what we've learned there today... Uh, concealment does not equal cover. <laughs> uh, which is a good lesson. That's good, that's good. Yeah, we're still learning. I am struggling with the heavies. The, the action point cost with the heavies, I am legit struggling with. I will be honest. Uh, seven soldiers use seven teleporters and seven breads for seven days? I have no idea. Right, did I get everybody? I think I mostly got everybody. Except that fucking strangler bloke who I still think is back here somewhere. War of the, Tro uh, uh, War of the Chosen. Got a new call sign. Grab, sack, and twist. Nice. For all your harassment needs. Nothing's getting past me. Right, I'm gonna go over here and then see what happens. Oh, okay, they medkit themselves. Smart boys. Smart boys. That sounded like someone making a jetpack move. Oh, here he comes. Oh, cheeky bastard! It's like he knew I had that place Overwatch covered. Okay. Now, this is a question. Do cars explode? Um, right, where's my dude with no willpower? Oh, he got three willpower back. Okay, that's not so bad. So what do we got? Action points two, still action points three. Okay, I'm starting to figure it out with this guy, because you can do jetpack, hunker down... And then next turn, you can jetpack and shoot if you want to, which is pretty good. Uh, just the unfortunate thing is he has no fucking willpower. So that needs work. I think I probably should have focused on boosting people's stats first. But, you know, we're learning. We are learning. Law firm of ass kicking and bubblegum? Yeah. Right, I know he doesn't have a gun. In fact, actually, wait, can I wangle that so I shoot twice? Uh, what does this cost? Uh, two extra points. Oh, okay, no, it's only better to shoot it once. Oh, no, wait, I can use quick aim. Uh, so actually going there would be a good idea. Use quick aim and shoot at him twice. I'm learning! He's starting to believe! I'm on the move. It's the usual thing. I'm like, kind of like, ah, uh, ah, and it's like, hamster, it's a fucking turn-based game. Take a breath, hold your shit, it'll be fine. <laughs> You can think these things through. But as you all know, I very rarely do, so. Uh, when your engineer bonded with the sort of uh, made the poster hack and slash. Yeah, the posters in um the posters in uh War of the Chosen were quite funny. Alright, let's just dome this fucker. Gotcha. Let's dome this fucker a second time. And he's dead. Good night, Vienna. Did we win? I think we won. And none of our guys got injured, so that's a plus. And we got three level ups out of that. I will take that. The concept of manifesting? I don't. I think it's a little bit silly. You can have a plan, and you can be motivated and positive about that plan. But that's about all the universe is going to give you. In my humble opinion. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, if I have any regard for my sanity, not often. What is there something I should have switched off or switched on? Do not interact with infested haven. Okay. Because it'll make my guys go loopy, I think. Okay. Orcs manifest. Exactly. Right, so we got 
70 tech, 478, and 112 food. That's nice. Okay, that's good to know. So even if I think the Haven can handle it, if I can spare the resources, it's totally worth getting involved because we get we get prizes. Okay, I'm down with that. Pandoran attack analysis. I failed to identify their origin. The exact location of the Pandoran colony is responsible for the attack remains unknown. If a colony attacks within Phoenix Base scanning range, there is a higher chance that higher chance they'll be detected. Okay. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it probably came from, I don't know, the fucked up bit down here, just guessing. All in with the cyborgs. Uh, we did do the raid. Uh, we have got the... Where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we've got the bionics um, in the research queue. So that'll be fun. If they get attacked. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, I don't know, actually. I mean, the other one was, like, all the way across the world. That will be... That would probably be finished by the time we got there. So this... That red number is not an expression of how many Pandorans there are. That is the... Um... Defense attack numbers. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, right, let me level up. Let me level up my dudes first. So I'm thinking, if I go and scan these areas in the mist, would that be a bad thing? <laughs> oh, they let you have one of their soldiers with all their stuff. Yeah, we actually we actually traded for a uh, new Jericho heavy. But that was trading rather than uh, getting it free. Okay, where we go? Um, pa, 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 pa. Oh, this is using the new. No, wait. Uh, did the new sniper rifle get built? I was wondering, did that did that ever actually get finished? And if it did get finished, where the hell is it? Or well, did I have to manufacture it? Or is it still being manufactured? Oh, it's still being manufactured, that's why. Oh, hang on, that must mean the machine gun got made. Wait, I'm getting completely sidetracked already. Let's focus on the leveling up first. You couldn't stumble into a Pandora layer by accident in vanilla. Oh, okay. Right, so... Uh, 65 SP. That's pretty good. Now, these only cost... Oh, they cost 20, so that's 35. And we could use the rest of that to boost the willpower. That might not be a terrible idea. Oh, yeah, we do. There it is. That's the, um... That's the Gorse machine gun. We're going to give that a go, actually. Uh, okay, so... Jetpack control and hunker down just seems a no-brainer. And then just dumping... Uh, pumping willpower sounds like a good idea to me. It was not don't plan, there's no use. Yes, it's have a plan, but understand that plan may have to adjust. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do not doggedly stick to your plan when shit go bad, my homie. I believe somebody would probably say somewhere. Right, let's give him another willpower boost because he's going to burn through that pretty quick so that seems like a good idea okay so that's got legs so this one this one's now also mobile i might give the other one the uh the machine gun see how that stacks up but that's got a very short range so they're always like one turn behind these guys because if like if you, if you mobilize you have to you have to jump Hunker, and then do stuff. Otherwise, you kind of get stuck. But there we go. Um, let's do the leveling up. I could have sworn that said three level ups, but uh, no, it didn't. Uh, heavy without Warcry. I'm shaking. Warcry? I don't even know that's ability we have a ha uh, access to, is it? That's not what I've seen, anyway. Oh, yeah, these guys are... I gotta remember, some of these guys are hybrids as well. I gotta remember that. Right, okay. 
Um, so we have... Assault, right, okay. Uh, kill and run, that's always handy. And quarterback. Well, I mean, that's that doesn't sound like a bad point. And more willpower. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning, I'm starting to believe. Starting to believe. There's the war cry. Uh... Where? I don't know. I don't understand. Habla no espanol. More willpower, good. Uh, no, they just get better at uh, the extra grenade damage and uh, more speed. So the assault class becomes stupidly fast. At some point, I'd like to pick up a shotgun from somewhere, but this'll do. Right, somebody else had leveled up, hadn't they? Because I thought he said three. Was it three? Was it Bob? No, Bob hasn't leveled up. Omar. Oh, it's Bamboozle. There we go. Right. You want to find the cultist's friend invite? They out of the worthwhile shotguns. Oh, well, uh, Anu. Yeah, that's where our axe-wielding lunatic came from. Um, we, we bought him off the, uh, Anu people. Yeah. Uh, we had a spare axe we gave him. He's, he's actually quite good with it. Right. 69. Ayy. Okay. Uh, what have we got? Gunslinger. Shoot handgun three times at 50% accuracy. That doesn't sound... Oh, wait. That only uses willpower. Oh. So that doesn't actually use... That doesn't use action points. Oh, it uses AP cost of the weapon. Never mind. Yes, it does. Reading. Yes, reading is important. Okay, so that's not so hot. So that's like three action points to fire the... I mean, yeah, 50% accuracy? You'd literally have to be surrounded by Pandorans and about to be eaten. And even then, that wouldn't help you out much. What is reading? Exactly. Uh, PDW proficiency. I have not come across a PDW, so I don't know about that. Uh, P PDW proficiency is worthless? Oh, okay. Or gunsling is worthless. For three... Yeah, that's a good point! That is also a very good point. For three action points, you could just fire the handgun three times at 100% accuracy. That is a good point. Why does this skill exist? That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't see the point of that. That's a bit weird. Um, I haven't come across PDWs. 50 SP to choose a secondary class. I don't know if that's a good idea right now. Oh, the technician guns? Oh, okay. Die Hard seemed a silly idea. That's a silly idea. Don't know what they are. I think I'm just gonna like, up their willpower a bit for now and come come back to this later. If you use the weapon AP, you can shoot it six times. Well, no, you only have four action points. So if it fires the gun three times, it's gonna use three action points, and then you have you'd have yeah. An SMG. Okay, I haven't seen any SMGs, so um, I, I'll probably leave that. Right. Uh, I'm going to up his willpower, because apparently willpower is super important. Um, His willpower is still nerfed because of whatever is it, whatever it is, history of violence or something. Yeah. One AP to fire three times? Now, you see, that would make sense. That would make it worth taking. Oh. Okay, we might have to have a look at that. We'll come back to that. In fact, we come back to it now. Let's, let's have a look at this. 
Shoot handgun three times at minus 50% accuracy uses AP cost of the weapon. Maybe it is only one AP. If it's if it's four willpower and it's for one AP for three shots, that makes way more sense than it being worse than not using the skill at all. I mean, for twenty for twenty skill points, I I will be willing to give it a go. <laughs> not that there's going to be too many options that that. I'll take it just to see what happens. Oh, it is that. Okay, yeah, let's take that then. Screw it. So we've got, like, those, uh, the handguns. Right. Uh, can we up your willpower any? Yes, we can. That's good. Right. Oh, lordy, he coming. Um, okay, he's got a willpower boost off his armor, but I'm going to give him some more because, uh, when he takes that armor off, that this armor has, like, stupidly good accuracy on it. I wonder if that might be good for literally somebody else. Because I don't think you need accuracy with melee abilities. Hmm. The head is grown on? Nope, I can take it off. Nope, it's vanished. Oh, there it is. It's it's part of the uh it's part of the hat. Yeah. I just yeah, I just thinking about this. Plus seven accuracy, plus five accuracy, plus five accuracy. Why don't I give some of that to the heavies and give him his old rave gear back? Oh my god oh also that gives him speed. Hmm. Hang on a second. Let's give him his old rave armor back. Okay, so now he is even faster now. I mean, speed, I think, is very useful for him because he needs to get and wallop people. This armor might be good for one of our assaults because... Or maybe even one of the heavies because of the accuracy bonus on there. Because that's got, like... So that's eight willpower... Yeah, who's the guy that had the stunted willpower? I should put that on, put that hat on him. Which is really cursed, but... <laughs> oh my god, he looks like... It looks... It looks like Halloween in the worst possible way. Oh. I also said I was going to divest myself with these cannons because I wasn't super impressed with those. So let's... Wait, have I got this toggled off? I want that toggled off. Right, okay. So let's give him the gorse machine gun, because I want to see that in action. Providing, of course, we actually have any ammunition for it. Uh, okay, we have one backup magazine. That's not a lot. It needs to have red and brass. Uh... Oh! Oh, yes. Yes, we can. We'll get there. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, what a sweet detox. It is Dagotha. Yeah, we were. What was it? What was it? Somebody said the other day uh, it was a lizard man. Uh, no, I can't remember. A lizard man wearing a, a something. And I said it was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but Aztec. What Space Marine chapter is he from? The Confused Marines. Um, that's, that's who he's from, uh, I'm, I'm gonna say. So wait, he is a, what is he? He is a, oh, I'm an idiot! I'm a fucking idiot! He's an, he's a heavy assault, he's got quick aim. Ah! Right, fuck it, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the 10 points from, uh, the Phoenix SP, because that means he can... Jump, quick aim, and then fire. Which, if you're standing right next to somebody, would be funny as fuck. So screw it. We're going to spend the points. Okay, because we just gave him some more willpower because of the funky hat. Okay, cool. Um, right. Where is the rest of the funky outfit? Right. What does that do? 
Uh, more accuracy, 16 armor, okay. Uh, yeah, the assaults have it. Um, and because I chose uh, assault as his, as his secondary, which seems like a good idea, because uh, it felt like it would up his mobility quite a lot, um, I figured that was the way to go. Right. Now, how do these measure up? 14 plus 4 plus 5. 16 plus 6 plus 4. Okay, there's not a huge amount in it then. Okay, so this is basically like the the priest armor is like uh I don't know. Shooty armor. Bit weird. Um that's leg armor. Speed plus one. Perception accuracy. I mean I could put the trousers on him. This is gonna look so cursed. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, it's cursed. It looks like he went to half the Atlas, half the Atlas bodybuilding thing, and he forgot leg day. Um, that's... Oh, God, I don't think I can cope with that. No, sorry. Even even if it does make it better, I don't think I can cope with it. Uh, that's actually the wrong... I believe that was the wrong trousers. It's the wrong trousers, Gromit! Um... Have they put them in a weird spot again? Yeah, there we go. That's at least color coordinate the poor guy. Uh, so Nedrion have all the speed, stealth, and accuracy? I don't think they like us very much. Right, where's our axe guy? Um, here we go. Right, primary... Ca oh. Uh, oh, okay, that's red. Doesn't look very red. And brass. That has not worked. He looks purple. I don't know why he looks purple. Um. Oh, armor pattern. That's not red. Oh, okay. That's but that's a bit more like it. Hang on. I can do red and yellow. <laughs> oh, wow, that's kind of cursed. Honestly, I think that's probably about as good as that's going to get. Uh, which is to say, not fantastic. <laughs> okay, right. Let's make sure I've spent all the uh, points I need to. Okay, uh, Sophia's resting up. That's fine. She's she's still buggered. Um, have some more willpower. That seems important. Right, okay. Okay. Right, so. What have we got now? Uh... I imagine by the time we get over there, that is going to be done and dusted, so that's not a great option, I don't think. Um, we could probably build some more stuff. What else can we make? Um, got the sniper rifle on the way. Done the deceptor. What's the Iron Fury? New Jericho Gorse handgun. That would be good for our sniper, so let's do that. And a couple of mags. Uh, already got a couple of the gauze things. That's independence. That'll do. Uh, yeah, 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 I just made some ammo. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've got some... Uh, gauze ammo already i think it's iron fury yes yeah, cyclops magazine there we go haven't built those two yet though oh okay um they have still not built oh it's two days okay i this thing flies very fast um is it worth 
Okay, we can't actually build the Thunderbird yet, so that's not worth worrying about right now. Uh, okay, where the hell do I go? Do I to go back to original plan A, which was going to here? But what we could do, we could fly here, search that. Oh, there's a bunch of things we could search, actually. Okay. Or do we go scanning in the in the red mist? It feels like a very bad idea. <laughs> but then I suppose we might get, like, early warnings or something. I don't know. Um... Let's let's go for plot. Let's let's explore some places on the way to plot. Red mist is safe in vanilla. Okay. Well, I just wonder having an idea of what's going on down here might be a good idea. Let's let's go have a look. What's the worst could happen? Construction complete. Research complete. Oh, uh, mind fragger autopsy. Nice. Mind fraggers. Funny how that crude name our soldiers came up with stuck. Appropriate, I suppose. These vile creatures personify everything that makes the Pandorans so despicable. They are designed to rob us of our will. Of our humanity. Right up until I shoot them in the head and make them fall over. In theory. Okay. Uh, why is personnel flashing? Oh, potential recruits. Okay. Uh, no, because that will cost me all of our food. Um... So that's damaged amygdala. That's, uh... Gain psychic scream immunity. Oh, he's got melee weapon proficiency. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, he's a heavy. Oh, wow. But anyway, I can't, I can't afford any of that shit, so... Right. Uh, oh, grenade launchers. Okay, that's good. Goliath GL2 grenade launcher. Okay, yeah, 19 hours. Um, Yeah, we can add that to the list. God damn. Uh, I'm not doing the reverse engineering on any of that yet, so I'm not worried about that. Right, let's do that. Prove med kits, grenade launchers. Okay, cool. Wait, did that say that manufactured the... Okay, so we actually manufactured the sniper rifle, so... Let's give that to Bamboozle. Needs all DLC. Yeah, the thing is, it, um... They have done a lot of, uh, reworks to it. So I know a lot of people weren't happy with a lot of the, with some of the DLC. Uh, but they have tinkered with it. Right, if I was this new sniper rifle, where would I be? Ah, there it is. And if I was the magazines, where would I be? Oh, I've already got one. Oh, I made two. Okay, I made two and it's loaded it with one. I gotta remind myself it loads the thing automatically. Okay, ten, ten rounds. That's twenty rounds. That should be enough. Maybe, maybe. Right, can we build anything here? Okay, so we've got food production. I just built a research lab. So... Actually, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to build another food thing here if I can. 240 stuff. Yeah, okay, that works. Oh, you don't need the ammo in a hot bar? Really? I thought you did. Oh! I thought you did. Ah! Oh. That's a bit of a revelation. Oh, you just click reload. Okay, that's super handy. Okay. That's very, very handy. Uh, he hasn't got actually got an awful lot of stuff there. Uh, I mean, that doesn't matter too much because they haven't got anything else to carry. 
he hits people with an axe. So I mean, oh wait, no, he can use the he can use the spare pistol. Ha! Totally forgot. Those guys uh, actually can shoot pistols. I forgot about that. So that's handy. Um, he's just nothing but shoot. That's fine. Uh, no, I know that's not the same for me. Oh, okay, yeah, so we could have grenade then medkit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's starting to believe. Okay, cool. Right, let's do a quick save. So many things. Let's just overwrite that one. Okay. Remains. Exploration site. Uh, abandoned military outpost. Unclear which nation's military it belonged to. Okay. Wow. That was worth it. 375 materials, 65 tech, 225 food. Nice. Totally worth it. Um. Okay. I mean, we could do the rest of these, considering they're, like, right on our doorstep. I just want to... There's, like, three over here as well. Um. Hmm. I mean, what's this? Oh, production capacity in all bases. Okay, cool. Oh, there you go. They repelled the attack. So by the time... By the time we got over there, that would have been done and dusted. Oh! Uh... Oh. Recover vehicle. Take control of the vehicle located somewhere in the site and evacuate with it. Mist zone. Warning. Scavenging missions are much more dangerous if within a mist zone. Oh dear. Enemy reinforcements will arrive continuously from areas marked with this symbol. Well, we do have the guy that huffs the mist. So... This could be interesting. Um... Because, yeah, what's it? Uh... This guy, he can actually hoover up the mist, so that could be rather amusing. This this could hurt. This could hurt. It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so, here we go. Your soldiers have gained one point of delirium. At the start of the game, delirium is capped at one third of the character's willpower. This cap will increase as the game progresses. Delirium reduces willpower by an equal amount. The lower a soldier's willpower becomes, the more susceptible they are to panic or mind control, and the less they can use their skill. Each ten points in stamina negates the effect of one point of delirium. Okay, so, oh, well, this isn't going to be difficult, is it? We found the vehicle. <laughs> I was, I was ready to go traipsing across the map, and the vehicle's right there. Um, yep, we know about melee weapons. I don't know why you're telling me about melee weapons right now. Um, so wait, can I literally just walk up to this and... This is going to be easier than I thought it would be. Now I have no idea what this is, and or how many people we can fit on it. Um, but considering we can just walk up to it and take it, we might as well do that. Where is our, uh, where is our incredibly speedy boy? Okay, under Phoenix Control. What does it do? A speeder. Right. Can I get on it? No? I 
I don't think it's got a door. Leap. Electric strike. Full restore. Okay, so it's like a... It's like a support thing. So where the hell's our evac point? Yeah, it's a robot friend. Oh, naturally, the evac point is at the other end of the map. That makes perfect sense when you think about it. See, I thought we could all climb inside the, the vehicle and uh, that would be happy fun times, but I don't think we can. It's not an APC. Okay. That's a little bit awkward. Let's do this. I don't see it doing anything. I haven't told it to I haven't told it to move yet, that's why. It's not the fastest uh oh no actually it's relatively fast. Apparently it can't reverse. Oh it can't reverse because my guy's in the way. That's quite funny. Like an overly complicated Roomba? It does a little bit. It's the most OP you'll ever get. Okay. Tech arm. Okay. Oh, enemy spotted. Okay, that didn't take long. Where? There! Nice. Two paralyzing snipers onto it to immediately disable anything it looks at. Oh, so this is like, I, these are like empty weapon slots. Oh, okay. Uh, now we've spotted several enemies. This is good. It's doing a good. It's doing a good scout for us. Oh, and there's a jellyfish. Okay. Not good. Watch out! I'm moving in. <laughs> Watch out! I'm moving in. Meh. Um. Okay, I'm not going to use anyone's like clever shit to begin with. We're just going to like go forward a lot. And then the mad bastards will come running at us, and then we will shoot them a lot. That's my plan. So what is this? What is this? Oh, that's Malie! No, that's not Malie. What is that? It says Ammo1212. Confuzzled. Uh, no, you're fine. You're fine. Actually, no, we could do hunger down. Hunger down only costs one. No, let's not do that yet. Let's not do that yet. Gotta remember he can dash. Right, I gotta remember all the cool skills everyone has now. Yeah, that does the huffy thing. Yeah, we know about that. Yes, come closer. I can shoot at you then. And this is why I didn't want to advance too far forward because... Oh, hello, little bastard. That's got to go. Okay. So... So, so, so. Where's my, where's my shreddy gun thing? Right, can you get there? Oh no, you can't hit them. Let's, let's, let's leave the heavies be for a second. What do we got here? Right, that'll be a waste, because it's so, it's dinky. What are my other options? That's a strangler. Okay, we could hurt that. Grenades! Gotta remember grenades are a thing. Okay, so Kareetan Bob is the guy who's pretty good with grenades, isn't he? So... Can I just, like, yeet one? No, not at myself. Oh, okay, I've got to go forward. Okay. Bear in mind that mine frag is there. 
Yeah. What, really? I can't see him from there? Oh, I'm not using the... I'm using the wrong equipment. I was like, really? Right, okay. So, go there. Okay. Yeeters. Uh, next shot with proficient weapon. Okay, that's going to leave me one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeet. Okay. That disabled his leg. That's good. And then we go... Quick aim. And then we give him a bit of that. And he is El Facto, so that's good. That's a good start. Now, the interesting thing, because I killed the guy, I got... Ah, now you see, here we go. We're learning. So, with Quick Aim, if you kill the target that you use Quick Aim on, you get the willpower points back almost immediately. Or, in fact, exactly immediately. Which is useful. Right. Um... So what we got? Mind fragger. Right, that needs to go. That needs to go immediate. Right, we've got two points, so if this doesn't kill it, again, we can do quick aim and... Well, actually, what we could do, we could do quick aim. And then if we killed it, we're going to get the willpower points back anyway, and we'll still have two shots regardless. So I may as well spend the willpower first. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Let's make sure I can actually see it. Okay, I can see it. Right. Aim. Oh, that didn't that didn't give me hang on a minute. That didn't give me willpower back. Oh, it didn't count. Okay, so if because it's a little gribbly, it doesn't count. Okay. We are giving them a bit of the old ultraviolence, yeah. You little head crap, yeah. Hey, hi, Boyd. Bit late, but I still made it. Ah, that is perfectly fine. Not a problem. Yeah, we have uh, we have developed some um, gorse weaponry, yeah. Now, what I can do, I can use... This won't cost me anything, and I can put in Overwatch. So that might work. Pushing on. And then we can do that, which I think is probably blocked off by all the stuff that's in front of him, but eh, fuck it. Okay, so far so good. Um, right, melee boy. Um, just run very, very fast, I think, for now. We'll, we'll use all your comedy skills later. Um... Right, have I got... Is there any bamboozle that's left as far as regular shooting goes? I think it is. Okay. Finger on the trigger. Right, what'd that look like? That is not what I would call an optimal shot. <laughs> that is... That is not going to work. Okay. So, providing we have at least one willpower point left... Uh, she can go on Overwatch as well, so that might be worth it. I'm learning. I'm learning. And then we probably need to see about getting rid of this giant fucking thing. Right, where is... Okay, he's got 20 willpower right now. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yes, we found a vehicle... Um, we kind of stumbled across it. Uh, we've got to get it and us all the way out the back of the map there. And then, uh, profit, I'm assuming. Right, I'm going to bring the vehicle around here so we can take advantage of the healing stuff if we need to. That makes sense to me. Destroying all our cover on the way, but that's okay. We weren't going in that direction. Um, okay, where's my do- wait, what's that? What was that symbol? Oh, enter vehicle! You can enter the vehicle! I didn't think you could! Why are we doing this the hard way? 
We can totally enter the vehicle. <laughs> we should have just entered the vehicle and fucking motored it. I thought we could probably enter the vehicle. There we go. Um, well, this is, uh, this is using the Terra from the Void mod. I don't know if that makes any difference from that, because I've, I've never played vanilla, so. Right, now, since he's got 20 willpower, I am so, oh, that was weird. Sorely tested to try this new thing. He can go, wait. Hang on, hang on a minute. Wait a second, wait a second. Jetpack costs two. Quick aim reduces proficient weapon shot to one. But if I did jump pack, hunker down, quick aim, it would cost me three, uh, three, five. It would cost me cost me eight willpower. But I could jump, hunker down, and shoot, which. That could be interesting. Now, admittedly, at that range, he's not going to fucking hit a broadside of the barn because these heavy weapons are a shit shot. So, hmm. Wait, what's the second target we can see there? What's that up there? Oh, it's the other Arthron. Okay. That would cost a lot of willpower, though. It would be funny, though. I'm going to do it. It's not the optimal choice, but I'm going to do it. Right, so that, that takes two. That takes zero. That takes one, and then shoot will be... Okay, hunker down. Your next attack costs minus one AP. Unless hunker down prevents you from firing, of course. Oh, end's turn. Hunker down, end's turn. Right, that wouldn't have worked. Okay, but we can... Do quick jump, uh, jump quick aim, then hunker down. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm down for this. Let's try it. Let's actually make sure that somewhere he's got a fucking line of sight on this guy. That's not brilliant. Oh wait, I can. Uh, I don't know how we can see through that. That's weird. Okay, so here's probably better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you. Right. Quick aim. Right. That costs... Okay, that costs two action points. Oh, it's minus... Oh, reduced by one. Okay, yeah, wow, I just can't read. Okay, so we won't be able to do that, but that's fine. We can still shoot. Okay, that's a good combo. Now, that's probably not going to do an awful lot because that's a terrible, terrible aiming chance, but I'm going to do it anyway. And that, that did pretty okay. Um, and we can do similar with this guy, but we can't actually, we can't do the, um, okay, it's, 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 it's gradually working. So that costs two, it'll still cost, so yeah, he won't be able to go Overwatch or anything. So if I put him there, oh, I've just put him in front of the guys who are doing Overwatch. That was not smart. That was not smart. Never mind. It's fine, probably. Um. Okay, let's just go in there. But next turn, we may as well just get all on board the bus because that seems like a good idea. We've definitely got a kill. Oh, oh, somebody's coming this side. Okay, that's fine. Nice! Nice, nice. He's like, fuck this shit. Oh, okay. Well, that uh, torpedoes my initial thoughts about these guys. I thought you couldn't reinforce and then act. Apparently, you can reinforce and then act. <laughs> I didn't think they could do that. Right, now is the question, how many people can I fit on this vehicle? That is the question. Because I didn't think I could fit anyone on it, but apparently I've got uh, a way in it now, so... Hmm. 
Ha! Okay, so he deployed the shield. We're still quite a distance away from actually leaving here. All the ones you have room for? Yeah. I don't even think the, the actual dedicated APC can take... Uh, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, maybe it can. Um, right, since when Boozle's standing next to it, let's 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 try this. Enter vehicle, yes. Okay. Um hmm. Oh I think the answer to that apparently is one. So we're gonna have to fight our way out of here regardless. Okay. It has room for one! We have now discovered this. Um, leap to a target location within 10 tiles. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Right. Uh, so we've got that annoying fucking mist thing. Oh, wait! My guy can half mist. Uh, he can consume all mist within a three tile radius. Oh, so he can actually run into the mist. Right. Okay. Hang on. Let's let's that cost two. Bash cost two. Okay. So I can't I can't dash off the mist and hit the jellyfish at the same time. I'd love to, but I I can't. So uh, that's okay. Actually, I don't even need to dash. So I could get over there and hit it. Um, and maybe seeing about huffing it next turn. So let's see how that works. Um, okay, strike. Go. That was nearly a one-shot. That was pretty good. Uh, okay, right. So we've still got... Okay, well, this is all our heavies. So this is good. Uh, he's got nine willpower. Okay, I don't think I want to spend any more of that. So let me fire once. Let's have a look. Can we blow through that shield? I think we could probably blow clean through that shield. Yep. Okay, good shout. Now that didn't do him an awful lot of damage, but that took his shield away, which then lines him up for... I feel this is going to be a horrific fight. <laughs> We're going to have to... Maybe I should be running a bit more often. Um... Okay, he's got quick aim, so we can go there. Well, actually, we could go here. And fire twice, if we wanted to. Which probably sounds like a good idea, actually. Alright, how much willpower has he got? 14. Okay, so if we do quick aim. Oh no, I'd only be able to fire once. Okay, but okay, that's fine. Uh, spitter head. Oh, he's a spitter! Okay, we definitely need to get rid of that. Okay. Okay, he's not feeling very happy about that. And I could do quick aim again. Which I think is probably a good idea. Aiming. Okay. And he gets two points back for killing it. Okay, I'm starting I'm starting to get the whole like push pull thing with the with the uh with the action points here. So my guy could actually jump here, quick aim, and then shoot the jellyfish. Okay. Thank you very much for the uh hydrate hyboid. <laughs> we had this last time. Thanks for the hydrate hyboid. Hi hyboid hydrate. Uh, okay, okay. So it's going to burn through some willpower points, but I reckon it's worth it. Or is it? That's another six, which is going to leave him at... Hmm. Hmm. Though it will get rid of the jellyfish, which I feel is the main concern here. Um... 
Curtis and Alison can jump. Oh, wow. Okay. We'll come back to that. All right. Kurit and Bob standing there on his own. Uh, run very fast, Kurit and Bob. That's a good idea. Okay. Um, you can't do much else. Hey, I just... Wait a second. Did we actually get some accuracy with our heavy weapons for once? We did. Holy shit. I'm in shock. Right, um... Oh, that's a willpower. That's a willpower area. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So if we just run straight through the warehouse, that sounds like a good plan. Maybe. Also, I have to remember people actually block off each other's line of sight. That's a, that's a thing. Uh... Oh, he's got kill and run. Okay, so he's got a bit of extra move. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, bit of extra move works. The thing that's throwing me is not not noticing going through the diagonals here. Thank you very much for the post check. Uh. Whoops, that's that's the There are three different keys to bring that command that that console down. And I keep pushing them every single time. Right. Uh yeah, do you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go here. Quick aim. And finish off the jellyfish. That's what I'm going to do. All I need is a clear shot. Hostile neutralized. So that works. Uh, he can stay there because he can huff mist. Not that it's actually going to help him at all because he hasn't actually expended any willpower. But had he expended any willpower, um, Huffing Mist would have been useful. I just thought that he can huff the mist, that's just funny. Why did we switch off of the Hell 2 cannons? Uh, they were a single projectile that did a lot of damage. The trouble is the accuracy w uh, for them was abysmal. So it was really, like, whenever you fired it, it was hero or zero. Whereas I feel the guns that have multiple shots um, are a better option because uh, you, you, you've got more more sort of like swings at it. Oh, I could have used dash. Never mind. That's fine. Uh, right. Okay. So this thing's got... F oh, well, that's not very far. What? It can leap less distance than it can actually move. Sure. Well, that's the thing, um, Pie Boy, is the fact that uh, they didn't have the action points to jump and shoot before I. Um, they got a particular set of skills, so. Yeah. Wait, why is my why is my inventory flashing? That's weird. Does that mean I can store stuff on it? Maybe that means I can store stuff on it. I don't know, I'm confused. Okay, right. Is that everything? That's everything. Oh, cheeky minefragger on the left, which I failed to notice. Son of a bitch. Didn't see that. Did not see that. Right, okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to get Bamboozle out of the uh, out of the bus. The reason being... Oh, it costs two action points to get out of the bus. The reason being, if I try and shoot this uh, with any other weapon, I might accidentally decapitate my guy. But I only have, probably only have to hit it once with a pistol, I'm guessing. Wait, did we take Gunslinger? We did take Gunslinger. Action points one. Yes. That makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. So we can actually get here. Oh no, wait. That's going to sh that that's not going to be that's not going to be targeted, is it? So we'd probably best stay where we were and do free aim. Oh god. That's a miss. Finger on the trigger. 
That didn't work either. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just walk up there and hit him in the face. God damn it. Right. Now, I, I, I want to do this just for giggles. Oh, he's lost all his action points. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Uh, Where did that other guy go? Uh, He's actually up front, isn't he? Right, who's used the most willpower? Probably Omar. So then if Omar goes zoop into the willpower... Oh, I can't because there's a... God damn it! Roofs are the weakness of assault classes. Okay, we will stride. We will stride boldly into there and get the, get the willpower, <laughs> I guess. Um, I knew the other guys. The other guys lurking back here somewhere. I think. Instacles all went and good. Yeah, no, it the accuracy on it was really bad. That that's that's how I was feeling. The accuracy on it was just abysmal. Yeah, if, if you're up against a really big target, then yes, uh, most certainly. Um, but against like human or human-sized things. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. Oh, we got Kill and Run. Okay. Oh, Kill and Run works against the little guys? Oh, okay. That's cool. I'm going to take some cover. Because I think that other guy might have been a... Um, I believe he's a poison spitter. So can I... I'm going to do that just in case, actually. Yeah, okay. We're uh, do you know what? I'm going to worry about the uh I'm going to worry about the um willpower thing next turn. Cuz I don't want to uh get monstered by this uh other guy. I mean, we could go up on the roof. No reason saying I can go Oh, unless of course someone shoots at me, at which point the roof collapses. Oh wait, hang on. There's a cheeky, there's a cheeky little spot here. Okay, um, that isn't going to leave him with much willpower though. Fuck it, let's just run into the willpower. I like this idea. Wait, am I in it, or is it there? There, go. Plus three will points. Nice. Okay, so then we go. So I reckon that Pandoran was there. I could go. Does quick aim work for... Oh, reduced by one. Okay, so we wouldn't be able to shoot regardless. Okay, that's fine. Um, I've also got that in still frenzy. We may have to use that in a minute. So let's hunker down because that gives him a cheaper attack next time. Okay, cool. Right. Uh... So he's got the cannon. I think we'll just run in here. And then we'll put the sniper back on the bus because uh apparently that was the that was the best idea. <laughs> um and we'll cover off this side actually. Oh. Oh shit, it's another mine fragger. God damn it. I hate those things. They're not getting past me. I hate them. Right, okay, so it seems a bit pointless having the uh sniper in the vehicle because it doesn't appear to help in any way, shape, or form, so I guess we'll just keep moving forward with this. Oh, enemy spotted. Oh, he's found the uh found the other uh, Arthron, where his name was. That thing. Right, you can stay there for now. Is that everything? I think it's everything. Oh, little bastard. Oh, he's lost will points because uh, he's in the mist. But now, of course, what I'm going to do 
is Huff the Mist. <laughs> he just huffed the mist. Okay, annoyingly we have a mind fragger sat there, which is bad. So we're gonna have to overwatch our six, which is kind of awkward. Um. Target located. Oh, is that another one? That's another Triton. Oh my god, this is hairy. This is super hairy. It's like a tarantula wearing a wig. It's that hairy. Um. Already there. Okay, right. Kareet and Bob, cover our six because, frankly. Oh no, wait. Kareet and Bob, you can throw a grenade. You can blow this wall out. But then that will probably still not work. Actually, let's let's see what that looks like. That was a new and lovely expression. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's a negatory on grenade. Okay. What about one of my heavies? Where's the cannon? Because if I aimed the... tear cannon... right where we know that guy is, it might... well, blow a hole in the wall, but I don't think I'll blow a hole in his cover. That's probably going to be a waste, actually. Eugh. Where's my sniper? Right, what can you do? Bugger all, I think. Okay, the trouble is that mine fragger gets us, that's gonna be very bad. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for that, uh, Thanks for that, Moon Eyes. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to do, like, a cautious, like... Overwatch moment. Uh, oh, this sucks. I hate those Minefragger things. I don't like them. They're horrible. Area covered. I'm doing, I'm doing like a, a, oh, mind you, that Triton standing there as well. Oh, and they're fast. I don't like how fast they are. I got quick aim. I could take a shot at him, actually. I think I can still go on Overwatch, so I might have to do that. Because uh, we do that, and then we do that. Probably won't hit anything, but it'll wake him up. Winged him. Winged him. Right, I'm not shooting a second time. I'm going to do a small cone. Whichever way I point these Overwatch cones, the fucking little bastard's going to get through it. I can feel it. Right, and our other problem. Oh, wait, I can... Wait, what? I can get over here and shoot him? Really? Oh, because I did hunker down last turn. I legit keep forgetting that it's always like you gotta think like one turn ahead so i could actually turn the corner and actually no i could turn the corner use quick aim shoot him and then i could reposition uh if i still wanted to let's do that Be right, there. right uh quick aim this having a shit ton of willpower thing is quite useful Oh no, that's still only gonna that's still gonna cost two. Oh well, never mind. But this will have the added bonus of probably killing his ass. Yeah. And he got two will point points back afterwards, so that's totally worth it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm a getting there. Okay. So if I send this round to join the heavy. I still don't really know what this thing does, and it looks like it heals things and it zaps things, which is great, but so far it's kind of just pottering around like a lunatic. Um, you can be joined by the other heavy. And then watch as the Minefragger comes around the corner and uh, eats us all. Uh, probably. Also, that Triton's completely uncovered, I've just realised. Uh, shit. Well, what will be will be. 
It'll be fine, probably. Healing and stuns. Ah, okay. Uh, right, not much else you can do. Okay. Let's see how bad this works. Oh, he regens! Oh, he regens! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah! I paid attention in the tutorial. Because <laughs> they said... Use short cones when you're dealing with those things. And that's exactly what I did. Which now means I can get over here and apply the axe to this guy, and then we can fucking motor after that. Um. So we can... I guess we can save an action point, effectively? Can we... Oh! I keep forgetting this. So he can do, if he has three action points, he can do strike then bash. Which is, a, which is actually a shit ton. Uh, short overwatch cones, yes. Because if you try and hit a small target further away with overwatch, you're less likely to hit it. So I was lucky that he went this way, which I had covered off. So uh, I was quite happy about that. So it's going to take will points. How far? Okay, so I can literally get there. That cost me one action point. And I can swing the axe, and if the axe doesn't kill him, I can punch him in the face. Also, I've got a pistol. I keep forgetting this guy actually has a pistol. But that's okay. I might I might just, like, shoot him in the face for, like, style points. I don't know. We'll, we'll see in a second. Pushing on. Right, and then we do that. And that killed him stone fucking dead. Okay. <laughs> I'm starting to get the gist. Let's starting to... Oh, shit. Who'd you see? Where? Oh! Bull bags. Okay, there's another mine fragger. That's fine. Already there. Everyone stay together and that won't be a problem. Theoretically. Uh... Right, how far away is it? Pretty far away. But they can fucking motor, so I think actually movement might be the better option. Rather than dallying and overwatching, I think I think moving, getting distance is probably the better option. Um, okay, we've got to zip around the side of this rock, actually, so we should probably head in this direction. Moving fast. Okay, I am seeing the benefit of upping everyone's stats before we start investing in skills, because this, like, extra speed and willpower is making all the difference. Rolling out. Okay. Now, let's just hope he doesn't reach the crazy axe guy, because that could be awkward. Monumentally fucking awkward. Uh, right, hang on, where's the sniper? That's Bamboozle. Um, yeah, if we're, if we're all going to head around the left, that's what we're going to do. I don't want to split them down the middle. That seems like a foolish idea. Should have moved the truck first, and then that would have got further away, but that's fine. It's okay, didn't need that anyway. <laughs> Oh, I so hope that doesn't get that. <sighs> Why does something make me think that's going to be able to reach? I really hope it doesn't. Do I just bung an Overwatch cone just in case? It'll be fine. It'll, it'll be fine. Oh, I just noticed he doesn't get delirium. Oh, he does get delirium, but for some reason it's not showing on his bar. That's weird. Oh, wow. Speed. Speed. All right, so everybody, okay. Don't eat my face. Don't eat my face. Please, please, please. Don't eat my face. Right, excellent. Turn ended. Nice. Um... <laughs> Dashing backwards to hit this thing with an axe does not seem a good idea, but 
it could be really funny. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Uh, what we are going to do is sort of stick someone out a little bit and see if we can overwatch the bastard thing on the way in. Or we could use a grenade. Where's Kareet and Bob? How about fuck subtlety, uh, embrace grenades? That's an idea, isn't it? That will not kill it. I need better grenades. I legit need better grenades. It killed it. Okay, that was confusing. Because it said it wouldn't kill it, but it did, so I shouldn't complain. I should just keep running. Kill and run. Maximum effort. And he's still got two. Oh, okay, wow, these assaults are really good. I am, I am learning. I am learning. I was like, I was beginning to think, oh god, this is going to be such a nightmare getting across this map, but it's it's actually working. Famous last words. Oh, I should have kept my gob shut, shouldn't I? Oh, that's true, the grenades do armor shred. Yeah, that is probably got a lot to do with it. Got to be quick. I love how we found this lovely, like, high-tech vehicle and we're just not bothering using it. <laughs> just running. Running. Because we can't fit that many people in it. Uh... Uh, right, okay, that's a point. Uh, can we put Bamboozle... Will that save any action points? No, I don't think it will, actually. Eh, let's just keep it running. Okay, I've got to teach myself this thing just smashes its way through cover. It's not so bad when we're fighting the Pandorans, but if we're fighting people with guns, that could become a bit of a liability. Wait, why is there mist here? Oh, there must be another jellyfish. There, I think there's another jellyfish there. That's awkward. Which could possibly mean there's something lurking around the corner. So let's go over here. Oh, maybe not. I don't want to find out. Okay, I don't think we can all reach the exit point at the same time. Uh, no, definitely not. Moving in quick. I am half imagining something coming boiling out of there, which would be which would be bad. Which I suppose it could, because I think that acts as stealth for those guys. All right, I'm gonna see if I if I've got the action points left. I'm gonna chuck a solitary Overwatch overcone, uh, overcone, a solitary uh, Overwatch overcone. Yes, just in case something comes out of there, which it might, or it might not. Like the wind, like the wind and the gas I puffed like a maniac. I just love that guy. Everyone's like this terrible mist that does terrible misty things, and he's like, "Let me at it. I'm gonna huff that shit." <laughs> So weird. Uh, that's what you get for being a disciple of Anu, I guess. Told ya. Fucking told ya. Okay, but that's fine because we've got plenty of time to get into the evac and shoot him at the same time. Uh, now, does evac cost a point? I think it does. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, cool. Which means I got three AP. Um, I can shoot it twice if I so wish to. Uh, the fact it's in the the uh, mist and I can still see it is a bit of a benefit. And it's dead. Handled. Okay, can we get everyone? 
Can everyone get in there? I think we can. Watch out, I'm moving in. All right, that's one. Uh, you're already in it. Rolling out. Well, other than getting face hugged, that went pretty well. Moving to coordinates. Repositioning. <laughs> Just property structure tastic. Wasn't too bad. I don't think I really got to see what that vehicle could do in its uh, prime because it just sort of potted around destroying cover, basically. Okay. Uh, there's not enough space in your aircraft for the new recruit. <laughs> Oddly enough, we can't fit the uh, APC in uh, the Manticore, so that's kind of funny. Um, right, let's send it to Phoenix Point. That makes sense. Uh, replenish soldiers. Yeah, we can do that. That's not a problem. Okay. That went alright. Little hovercraft channeling is in a mech warrior. Yeah, a little bit. Delirium status six. That that seems bad. What what do this mean? Oh, one of four. Okay. Right. So we don't want to do that too often, by the looks of things. Um. Hmm. I'm going to go head back to Plotsville. Because there's one there. One there. And one fucking miles away. So uh, we're going to aim for that one. Uh, I've gone vehicle blind. Uh, we could uh, we could actually explore a few things on the way in, but nah. Let's just head straight there. Actually, oh, we might need healing. Actually, uh, well, we can stop off at the storage place and heal up. If that makes sense. Faxim, uh, yeah, that's um disciples of Anu, who are unfriendly at minus eight. Uh, New Jericho, which are friendly at 21, and Sinedrian, who are... Mm, I mean, 2% wouldn't strike me as friendly, but um, apparently it is. Pandoran Evolution. Wonder if maybe we should make that a priority. Hmm. Three days, though. Eh, let's not worry about that for now. Right, uh, let's go back to Phoenix Storage 1. Crew of Phoenix Point are fully healed and rested. Okay, so that... Wait, I've got two personnel there? Oh, it's a vehicle and personnel, okay. So... Uh, Sophia has recovered, so that's good. Um, we had probably best equip her with something just in case the base gets attacked or something daft. Uh, she doesn't have the best gear, but at the moment she's got bugger all, so um, I best give her something. Uh, that's the assault helmet. Unless, of course... No, that's assault. That's assault. Yeah, that works. 
Uh, that's heavy, heavy. Oh, yeah, I stole her trousers. Oh, that's a good point. I, oh, no. Phoenix Assault Leg Armor. There we go. Um. Oh, she got the heavy... Oh, no, she doesn't have the heavy weapon. No, wait, hang on. What class is she? New class. Sophia Brown. Where does it tell me what her mix of classes are? Oh, here. Oh, no, she, she can use... She could use a heavy weapon because she's got heavy weapon training. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's just give it an assault rifle for now, I think. That's a good plan. Just in case something crazy happens at the base or something daft. Oh, I very much doubt it will. Uh, okay, so we need to stop here because everyone is... I, I'm... How do we get rid of this delirium? This is going to be an interesting... Uh, how do we make this go away? It's gained in tactical missions. Or is it a recovery thing? Maybe it's a recovery thing. Because if it's permanent, that feels a little bit harsh. Uh, okay, improved med kit. 50% uh, healing power. Nice. And remove paralysis. Okay, I like that. Right, can we make anything? Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, we probably have that handgun now, don't we? Do we have the nifty handgun? Ghost handgun! Yeah, here we go. Um, Ghost handgun ammo. Nice! Actually, what's the... What's like the... Okay, there's nothing else that she can take from there. Okay. So that's handy. Yeah, we're gonna have to try that gunslinger skill at some point. That's way better than I thought it was. <laughs> Right, uh, I don't think there's anything interesting we can make, I don't think. Probably could do with another gorse rifle, I think, and then all of my assaults have gorse rifles. That makes sense. Rest someone, see if it goes down. Yeah, I, I, I'm having to heal them all up at the moment because uh, their stamina is kind of hosed. Um, so let's do that. A couple of those. Uh, okay, we could actually... We're gonna have to start thinking about, like, a second squad fairly soon, because... We're gonna be able to have, like, more people that can be fit in the manticore fairly soon. But then I've got to recruit a bunch of people, so I guess that's actually not a big deal so far. Also, wait, hang on, can we make... Do we have the capacity to make our own tech? Have I been missing that? Uh, living quarters. Training facility. Oh, training facility, I was gonna do that because that give them, that give them XP uh, while they're resting. That's good. Fabrication. Security medical base. Door. Research lab. So I guess you don't... You can't generate your own tech, I guess? That's what I'm getting. Okay, so having training facilities in both of them might be a good idea, because that's just free XP. Um, I don't know if that counts when they're resting. I'm not sure. But that seems like a good choice. Uh, can we fit that in the other one? Oh, we have more room here, I think. Medical bay, fruit production. Okay, that's got plenty of stuff in the queue already. I like hoses. <laughs> thanks, thanks for that math. Uh, yeah, trying to. There we go. Um, okay, let's get everyone healed up. Oh, 
A Sleeping Beauty Awakes. We have received data from MAI Core 12B735, previously reported as lost, likely hypothesis, found repurposed an AI Core firewalled for use as non-sentient aerial vehicle, passing video and audio log. One of our manticores is back online after all this time. This doesn't sound suspect at all, does it? A lush alien landscape. Okay. This is Citizen Eileen, package secured, now approaching source of previously reported signal. I'll be down, that's a manticore. Oh, this must be the Sinedrian Exposition sent to investigate the Hammerfall crater. But it can't be, where did all this vegetation come from? Uh. Uh oh. I, I am worried. I am the worried. Uh. Tiamat. Hmm. Oh, that's like their own, their own flying gizmos. Okay. What does it mean? What does it mean? Turning and turning. Oh dear. It means okay. <laughs> Thanks. Terraforming is only fun when you're the other one doing it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, except from a Neric Delirium Psychosocial Impact Assessment. One of our operatives reported feeling lucid nightmares are floating up into the sky. Oh dear. Excellent. One of our... The squad people is talking to Cthulhu. Great. Oh, fuck off. All Phoenix soldiers have lost five stamina. Okay. So which means we got to heal up again. God damn it. Well, actually, we don't, because stamina does actually recover in flight, I think. But, ugh. Yeah, Cthulhu is waking up. He's probably going to be grouchy. I don't think that delirium goes away. Uh, oh, Goliath GL2 grenade launcher. Oh, hell yes. Okay. Let's get one of those in the, uh, if we can afford it, obviously. Um, which we can. Uh, oh god, the magazines are a bit... St Wait, the magazines cost more than the actual launcher does. That's kind of funny. Cthulhu did wake up in the original Terror from the Deep, yeah. Um, just wanting his morning coffee. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys. Cthulhu here. Not coming in this morning. I haven't had my coffee. Oh, that is going to leave us a little bit short of resources, though. Uh, might, might have to hold off on that. Right, I don't think this this delirium nonsense goes away. I don't know how we get rid of it. I am the concerned. Okay, I think the stamina will heal up if we move. Right, let's have a look at the... Does it, does it tell us in here? Or is this just the... Is this just the vanilla one? Ah, here we go. Uh... In the third minute. Okay. Each 10 points in stamina reduces the effects of delirium by one. So because everyone's got at least 10 points of stamina, it's not doing anything right now. Okay, that's good. Participating in missions where mist is present. Or suffering attacks from Pandorums with delirium or co-delirium damage. Different ways of dealing or living with delirium will become available with Phoenix and Faction Research. Okay. So there's absolutely fuck all we can do about that right now. Which does make me wonder, maybe we should bump Pandoran Evolution to the top? Um, because that worries me. We haven't got any yet, but then I haven't, um... 
research like the basic Pandoran thing. I wonder if that's gonna unlock something important. So we're gonna put these two on hold for now. Right, okay. Uh, it is half past eight, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a manual save. Uh, everything is everything. Everything is awesome, which is a lie. Um, and I'm gonna have a break for about uh, ten minutes or so. Uh, just had a brain fart. Don't worry, I uh, my life is a constant brain fart. I wouldn't worry. Uh, is that paranoia a mod thing or in base game? I think the delirium is is terror from the void. I think. Have they not built that bloody satellite uplink? Okay, two hours. Okay, that's good. Right! I'm gonna have a break. Um, stretch your legs, go grab a drink, things like that. And, uh, yeah, I'll be back very shortly. With the headphones. Okay, let's go back this way. Oh, what the hell's that? Oh, it's got tracking! Oh, it's got tracking, that's rude. Oh, and it's got a shield? No, wait, I can do no damage to it. What? What? What is this? I'm perplexed. Oh, I, I have to hit the ball? I'm playing tennis. I have to play tennis with it. Oh, that's funny as fuck! I- I have to play tennis? That's great. No, the regular attack was doing it. Oh, boys. You- you picked the wrong time there. Funnily enough, grenades don't care about grazing hits, so, uh, that works. Uh, wow, in fact, you could do that a second time. Can he really do that a second time? How many of those has he got left? Three. Fuck it. Totally worth it. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is a war crime. <laughs> I don't know, that's just, that's just hit me funny. I don't know why. Why throw one gas grenade when you can throw two? Oh. Uh, okay, this is a... Oh, he's... Okay, he's got a shield, but that's fine. I've, I've, got, I've got tentacles. Hello, sir. Can I introduce you to our lord and saviour? Oops. He's not dead. Fair play. He's very not dead, actually. Oh, God. Oh, I have to fight him in this room. Okay, luckily he's not. Oh, hang on. I had to hack my way out the door. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Now he's dead. Oh! Oh my god! I hit him so hard, his... his... Oh dear. Be careful with your tentacles, ladies and gentlemen, otherwise this could happen to you too. I marked it just up the road. Alright. Oh, that's a, that's an entire convoy. Not convoy, oh, but that is yep, an that's, place. A, that's a that's a posse. Yep. Shall I start minigunning? Uh you wanna start minigunning? I can Oh, Ooh. I can't. Oh, oh that was me! Sorry! I deployed my drone and it killed the helicopter. I forget he threw it up. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. That's entirely on me. <laughs> Any landing that you walk away from, I guess. In what? Honestly, the bloody names of some of these systems are amazing. And the fact there's no hope for me to actually pronounce them. What was that noise? Oh, 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 I mean, is that like hello in rock person? What the fuck 
was that? <laughs> that sounded like the start of a Disney movie or something. What the hell? Uh, form non-aggression pact. Okay, so the Bin Penchan really like us. I mean, what? Come on. Holy shit, time to go. <laughs> where, where am I extracting to honor? Because I need, I need, oh, oh god, everything's exploding. Tremors detected. Well, yeah, no shit. We just introduced a black hole into the middle of the planet. How do we get out of here? Okay, we're going that way. Oh my god, there's fucking shriekers. Are you fucking kidding me? What? This is level one. We're not supposed to have shriekers. What the actual Christmas fuck? That's not right. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. Whose silly idea was this? Fuck me. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hmm. He should not survive that. This enemy soldier is pinned down. Hello. Oh, I shot that guy instead. Oh, he broke my overwatch. That's rude. A hundred and four? I'm gonna make it. Tell my agent. Release the nudes. A hundred and four? What the actual fuck? Well, uh, who's got the next best uh, skill other than Fox? Because she's the one that... Well, that's... That... Oh, okay, we are back. So, um... Uh, so many things. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna head over here to do plot. And then fairly soon, that should have the radar up and running which is good always say my brain no she does she literally says release the nudes yes she is she is on the verge of death and so she's like she's like if i die release the nudes yep she actually says that fox fox is very horny it's 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 a thing Oh, that's good. So we have uh, another. In his essays, oh. my great grandfather recounts the story of the ill fated Chinling Bashan expedition of 1915 and the journal of Lei Meng, the leader of the mission, who found evidence of a forgotten proto civilization deep below the ground. There is also mention of James Dawson, a British photographer who stole most of the precious samples recovered by the team. What became of Dawson has always been a mystery. But now I know the mundane truth. He died here in the mountains, forgotten and alone. This proto-civilization, could it hold the key to defeating the Pandora virus? They say history repeats itself. Has all of this happened before? <laughs> of course it's the British. Uh, rise by sin, by virtue fall. Uh, the coordinates and Simes notes led our operatives to a small abandoned camp high up in the mountains. Behind it lies the entrance to a cave. Cave contains the corpse of a Caucasian male. It's true, we do have prior form for that. It's very true. Oh, so the whole Pandora virus may well have happened once before. God, it's like Battlestar Galactica. All of this has happened before, and all of this will happen again. Yes. Right, what's that giving us? Project Glory. Investigation hints at a past connection between Randolph Slimes and Tobias West, specifically a common endeavor named Project Glory. We're going to put that at the top of the list, because that's only going to take... Um, seven hours, so that's worth it. 
Okay. Interesting. Um, the other one's up north. Maybe we should do some investigating. Why does that say 3%? Also, why is there a green thing here and there's not a green thing here? Because the satellite uplink's working. Hmm. Puzzling. I thought the green was the satellite uplink, but apparently not. Okay, that's a Disciple of Anu base. Okay. Oh, there's another Phoenix base there. Oh. We're definitely heading in that way. This is getting out of hand, Randolph. I won't stop my proto-civilization research, so tell the committee to back off. You're the director now. Please, help me. I need your support. This is not just some crackpot theory invented by your grandfather. The anomalous artifacts, the extraordinary technology predating Samaria by millennia. If you can't restart my project, I will go to the Vanandium Corporation. There's been another attack, Tobias. The excavation team is scared, and they aren't the only ones. What if the Pandorans know what we're doing and are trying to stop it? They aren't just brainless flesh puppets. I'm heading back to the lab. Be there. We need to discuss this in person. Okay. You're making a mistake, Colonel. The last Pandoran attacks were not an accident. They're targeting everyone related to Project Glory. Locking me in an isolation facility won't change a thing! I can't wait. No! Oh god. Have we got a, like... Have we got a raid... A new Jericho base again? <laughs> okay. A secretive attempt to study the nature of enigmatic ruins predate Homo sapiens. Tobias West was forced to apprehend Helena Lewandowski. Okay. If we can't see it, it can't hurt us, yeah. Stirring the past, Phoenix Storage 1. Oh no. We're going to have to go raid New Jericho again, aren't we? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, where's that? It's the same place. We were helping uh we were helping defend that earlier. Oh god. Well, that complicates things. By quite a margin. Yeah, it's, um, Tobias seems to have a habit of, like, uh, doing all these clandestine projects and then locking people up after they've actually sort of embarked on them. It's kind of funny. Epic poetry. Isin. Okay. Crazy poetry man. The poet would like to produce a beautiful printed edition of the work as a present for the exalted, but the Haven leadership is less than enthusiastic, insisting the only thing really worth reading is the gospel of the exalted, so he turned to us for help. Let's get it printed. Condemn this sick filth. Don't get involved, tell him to ask his people for support. 
Just let us walk in, we're friends. No, I have a funny feeling that's gonna be uh, freedom freedom at gunpoint, I think. Just 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 guessing there. Um Hmm. I mean if we get that printed, Jericho are probably gonna be mad at us. And Anu will probably be happy. Or maybe they'll both be mad at us. Uh, or maybe Jericho will be happy with us because it's not actually strictly speaking. I'm, I'm going to go for the giggle option. I'm going to go with printing it and see what happens. <laughs> So the, the, the Haven leader of this specific place fucking hates our guts now. That's quite funny. <laughs> That's quite amusing. Oh well. Oops. Uh, so now Jericho are going to be even more mad when we raid them because we just pissed them off by printing some propaganda about, like, uh, space alien lunatic priest. Uh, good. Good, good, good. This is fine. Uh, okay, that's Nidrian. Okay, cool. Only a model. An abandoned town, but it isn't a town at all. A test site for automated vehicles. Yes, yeah, such that shit. 200 tech, 100 materials. Nice. Don't mind if I do. Uh, so there's another Phoenix base here. Let's go there. And let's activate the base. Oh, it's going to cost us a lot of orange. But okay. Phoenix Aeronautics. Okay. Repair the damaged facilities to make it properly open. Be careful not to activate too many Phoenix bases quickly. Aside from the fact they said activate lots of bases earlier. Activate ba bases near missed outbreaks so you can scan for havens under attack. The next game is to valuable facilities. Okay. I did it wrong. Sorry, game. Uh... How much is that going to cost us to repair? Not very much. Oh, we are running out of materials, though. We are running out of materials. I may have to hold off on that one. Oh, this is fine. This is this is fine. Waters of life, dur. At dur. Our operatives are approached by a young woman anointed with the waters of life directly exposed to the Pandora virus. It sounds like a shit idea. Oh, God. The daughter of a high-ranking New Jericho officer? Oh, Jesus hell. No miss, no need for defense? I'm assuming not. Oh, crap. Kidnap her, return her to her father. <laughs> oh. Or encourage her to go back home. She has no intention of returning. Oh, you don't want to turn to a crab person, though. I'm going to encourage her to go back home. And that Haven hates us as well. And the Disciple of Anu hates us, but New Jericho has gone upwards. Okay. Oh, she ultimately decided to stay. Oh, well, well. Well, if you want to turn yourself into a crab, that is your get out. In 2022... A group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. 
The Phoenix Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. Okay. Exploration site. A defunct research station in northern Siberia. Doors stand open and there are no signs of life. It's a tarp. Scientists who to this station are all long dead. The mutilated bodies lie frozen in a strange demonic... Demoniac? Demoniac? Demoniac, I think. No, research bases in the Arctic never end well. It's very true. Okay. What... What do we... Okay. Why is my personnel yelling at me? Oh, recruit specialization. Uh, no, I need the food. I need the food. Also, I haven't got enough. I haven't got enough bus space to do that. Um. Oh. Okay. The the satellite thing is active. It's just not very big. Or is it? Is it taking time to power up? That's why it says twenty nine percent. Oh, okay, it's taking time to power up. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, we've really pissed off uh, the um, Anu lot by quite a large margin. Um, so, that's quite funny. Oh, are we going to have to like bust in there and save Helena? I don't know. Satellites take time to scale upward. Uh, that's a good point. Hey, I can circle. That is a good point. We literally probably just launched the satellite. That's probably got something to do with it. Right. I wonder if we should come back here and check out all these ones that are nearer to the base because I, I have concerns. I do. Uh, also, if we want to do this raid, that's where I need to be. Construction complete. Ooh, Pandora Intelligence Report. Haven reports the scientific observations of our new Pandoran mutations. Triton Wretch, Triton Footbed, Charon, Myrmidon Egg, and a Myrmidon. What are the chances that Myrmidon is a fucking chrysalid? Triton Wretch. Oh, it's invisible! It's invisible and it can use pistols. That's great. Uh, that's a Triton that can use guns. Okay, good, lovely. Charon, a flying stingray. Oh, great. Lovely, good, good to know. Myrmidon egg. Okay. Hey, Tank here. Was that a Mushroom Man? That was a Mushroom Man. Yes, it was. <laughs> and ads. Yep, bad timing. I'll go back. Uh, where are we? Yes, it is a Mushroom Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, so he can, he can do... And he has pistols. He has a pistol. He can huff out gas. And uh, he's invisible. <laughs> like, it's worrying. Oh, detailed analysis. What we got here? Silence head. Silent echo. All weapon attacks are silent. Nice. Become invisible when dealt damage and hide in a nearby location. And spawn mist. Oh my god. Well, that's horrific. Oh god. Good to know. Good to know. But uh, yes, that was indeed a mushroom man. Does 
Disciples of Anu Larak is broadcasting an SOS. They are under attack. Uh, which is there. Ooh, 11 plays 11. Oh, that could be bad. We get there in time. Let's do it. See if we can. I have a funny feeling we might not to probably be finished by the Oh no, New Jericho are broadcasting a uh, uh Oh god. That's all the way over here. Ah shit. Can you smoke him? No, it's funny you say that. Uh ah uh... Berserker can huff mist. So if the Mushroom Man lets fly with a mist, my Berserker can just hoover it up and say thank you very much and uh, get willpower out of it. So, um, yeah. This fight is probably going to be over by the time we get there. That's fucking miles away. Oh, six versus six. That might fall. Oh, dear. We might not get there in time. Oh, no. All right. Okay. Well, they're going to they're going to owe me one. <coughs> okay. Threat level low. Light level day. Enemy Pandoran. Yeah. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Okay. Uh, wait, was there mist? I don't think there was mist, was there? There wasn't any mist, that's good. Okay, has everyone got the correct stuff? I think they do. Okay, let's do it. Let's roll. I think you missed it. A. Hey. Right, so despite the fact that we're, like, expending, um... Wait, what's this? Oh, that's what we've got to protect. Okay, well, these guys live in a junkyard. That's quite funny. Uh, right, where is our mist huffing axe man? He is stuck behind... Uh, my assault. Okay, that makes sense. Let's move the assault first. Okay, if I were baddies, where would I be spawning from? That's a good question. Okay, so we've got to protect all of these, all of this nonsense. These guys are living in a scrapyard. Having more than one ship helps. Yeah. Um. We haven't got enough resources to like equip, uh, recruit an entirely separate squad. Um. But yeah, it feels like that's definitely going to start being fairly important. Um, okay, I have no idea which direction the bad guy is going to come from, so... Hmm. Well, what we could do... Where is our guy that has all the willpower in the universe? Omar, right. Uh, oh, we've got extra, we've got willpower gain up here. Okay, so if we boosted up here, we could have a, a good look at the uh, battlefield and see where the bad guys are. If there were any. Enemy spotted! Shotguns. Shotguns are ranged weapons that... Ooh! Is that one of the good guys? Okay, that's one of the... Oh, so the disciples of Anu are the ones who have shotguns. Okay, but there is... Oh, look, he's right there. So, there's an Arthron lurking there. Okay, so that was worthwhile. Um, hmm, that's going to be tricky. Where's my other heavy? Um, he could get up there and get his willpower back. Taking action. Whee! Okay, you can still only see one guy. Um, so we're gonna hunker down because that'll make shooting easier next turn. Right. 
Uh, I wonder if I miss with Overwatch and I accidentally hit um, the structure. That will probably be bad. I'm guessing. Uh, no, I do not wish to evacuate. Thank you. All right, let's reduce the Overwatch cone a little bit. Let's see if this guy goes for it. Uh, this is my melee guy, so we can move him up. In fact, we move him there. If that guy comes down, we'll have a chance to run over there and give him a kicking, so that's good. Can't see any other bad guys right now. Um... So I'm going to move somebody up the center, so we've got somebody covering this side off. Um, and herp derp, herp derp, basically. Right, can you do anything from up here? No? Okay, so... You can hunker down as well, because I'll make your attacks cheaper next turn. Cool. And we have got no idea where the rest of them are coming from, so let's not worry about that just yet. Nice! Oh, there's another one! Oh, cheeky bugger! Okay, that's fine. We have an app for that. And he deployed a shield. Okay, that's fine. Ugh. Having those heavies at the top is, is quite handy for uh, keeping an eye out. It's really quite funny. Oh, they're all coming from there. Oh, shit. Nimble Pandorans capable of flight at short distances. Their primary goal is to secure strategic zones of the battlefield. Okay. Oh. Trembling. Accuracy. Due to one turn. That's fine. I'm going to use the med kit on you. Where is... Where is Karit and Bob? Okay. Uh... Can he use that... Oh, bollocks, I haven't got a uh, medkit equipped. Does she have a medkit? No, she doesn't. That's annoying. Um, I could do it, will do. Okay, was not expecting that. Um, He doesn't have a medkit equipped either. That's kind of irritating. How much does it cost to use a medkit? I think it's two. Ugh, bugger. Uh, no problem, Quinlist. Thank you very much for the lurk. In vanilla, every haven had a population. Has that been removed? No, I think the havens uh, do have a population. Yep. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have to move her like one hex backwards. Two hexes backwards. Like that. Okay. And then that means... No, that still means I won't be able to get over there and use the med kit. God damn it. Uh... Okay, keeping her alive is more important, so let's do that. Okay, note to self. Maybe keep your medics uh, equipped with at least one med pack at all times. Might be an idea. Okay. So he can get over there. Sort her out. Yeah, it was two action points. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Okay, so he's got no action points left, so he can't do anything. She could fire a pistol, I guess. But she's probably blocked off by... I literally can't see anything. Okay, cool. Um, actually, she could move here and we could do Gunslinger. Possibly after the guy has axed him. 
But then there's a fucking Myrmidon thing lurking in there, which I need to be aware of. Uh, okay, can we get in here? Bash it, and then run. Might work. Bash. Oh, was that one shot, one kill? Holy crap, it was! Okay, um... Should've used dash, that would save me some points. Uh, so let's, uh, tuck him in here. Okay. Which leaves... Now I don't know if this Myrmidon thing is gonna go for us, or it's gonna go for the, it's gonna go for the structure, so... Let's move here. Uh, how can we hit this with a grenade? That's a question. Negatory. Okay. So if we go into Overwatch, narrow the cone a little bit, might hit it, might not. Probably verging on the might not. I'm on Overwatch. Um, I was going to do something clever with a pistol, but then I decided that, that was not wise. Uh, she can go to Overwatch herself, but she's not going to see anything. But then if it somehow gets past him, she can shoot it, so that might work. Also, I completely forgot I've got my heavies up here. Um, right, he's got the, he's got the cannon. Now that's only going to cost me two. Now we discovered the other day... that we can knock holes in things. No, no, I want to look at the... I want to see where the... Hang on. Right, he's behind... Is he, like... Okay, he's behind that wall. Okay. So if we zoom out a little bit, rotate back here. No, no, no. I wish to... Can I not shoot in that direction? Okay. That wall there. I wonder if we could pop that. Actually, no, we could get a little closer and do that, actually. Um. Wait, is that not going to cost me any action points? I don't think it is. Oh, it cost me, uh, like, a fraction of an action point. Okay, that's fine. Come get some. Right, and then... <laughs> Blow that wall out, and maybe that'll give a bit of visibility. I don't know. Let's try it. That did nothing. Okay, good to know. Never mind. Um, I think it was possibly the, the other types of cannons that did that, but that's okay. Uh, that is super awkward. Right, two points. Okay, so I can jump and shoot. Well, that doesn't help because we can't see this guy. But then he's not doing much use up there, so let's... Oh, I can't jump that far? I can't jump that far. Okay. We've got this other poor bastard getting poisoned, which is uh, frankly not my problem. Um, I could drop here in Overwatch. Let's do that. Nope, don't want to evacuate. Actually, he's got a better uh, a better angle on that, so let's do that. Right. Uh, yeah, might have been better off shooting that guy, but that's a bit late for that now. Right. I can still throw a grenade. Just suddenly realised. Oh, no, I haven't got any action points for that. Never mind. Never mind! Let's see what happens. Okay, I want a shotgun. I want a shotgun. Shotguns are good. Did you miss? Did you miss again? He fired at him point blank and he missed twice. That was impressive. 
I think if it hit the shield, it still would have done damage. Yeah, those spitty boys are horrible. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Well, he got completely out of the way there. That was impressive. How annoying. How rude, in fact. Right. Um... Hmm. Shotguns don't have high pen. Ah, okay, that would make sense. Oh, yep, yep. That would explain it. Right. I wonder if we can get rid of this little bugger with a grenade. Right, we need two action points for a grenade. Without hitting the assault, obviously. Let's see how that works. Okay. Don't hit the other guy. Nope, that's out of range. God damn it. Never mind then. Um. Hmm. Where are our jetpack boys? Okay. You should be able to see him. That's going to be easy pickings, isn't it? Oh, wait, we've got that melee thing. How much does that melee thing cost? One. Ooh, we haven't tried that yet. I want to try that. Falcon Punch! Oh. Oh, we can do it a second time. That works. <laughs> Welcome back, Moonoise. How did you know I'm back? <laughs> right, now, here's a question. Am I going to hit the operative? Ooh. Ooh, that's going to be a tricky one. Okay, I do have armor break. I keep forgetting I've got armor break. Uh, does that cost points? No, it costs willpower. Let's try it. Let's try it. I could shoot a shield off. That Holy fuck. That gorse rifle's pretty good, you know. Nice. I'll I'll take it. That that works. Um okay, in which case um, maybe I'm going to redeploy one of the heavies to the middle there. And hope for the best. Alright, my melee guy has not had the chance to hit anything yet. More's the pity. Uh, Kirit Bob, he had a bit of a wasted turn, so let's not worry about that too much. Oops, no. Ready, willing, and able. Sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if different ammo types are a thing in this. Uh, anybody's guess, to be honest. Okay, that's pretty much it. Oh. Oh dear. I think somebody might have popped their clogs. Uh, well, on the plus side, was that the guy with the shotgun? Because if that's the guy with the shotgun, I'm going to get over there and steal his stuff. <laughs> Which is incredibly callous. Um, But... You know, shotgun. Yeah, he's dead. He's he's dead in the tank tops. Uh, oh, it's only a shotgun magazine. It's not even the actual shotgun. That's that's a shame. Oh well, we'll take it anyway. Thanks. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, where's our other heavy? Because I think we need to see what's going on up, up top, actually. That would be a good idea. There's a Phoenix shotgun that fires slugs? Ah, okay. I don't think we've unlocked that yet. Kill the check three has... Yeah, it... it, it yeah. The slugs tend to stop break for rainbows, don't they? Yeah. Is that like a D&D player? I, in my youth, I played a ferocious amount of D&D. Actually, uh, I remember we played an Oriental Adventures thing back in the day, and I was the only one that could loot because I think there used to be like, there was like a class system. So I was like the lowly servant guy, even though I was like wicked cool with martial arts and stuff. So what happened after every fight, they were like, oh, we can't touch the corpse. And the, the entire group would look over to me and say, go loot. I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I got to I got to loot the stuff. Yes. Yeah. I forgot about that. So that was that was kind of funny. I just get an elbow in the ribs and it's kind of like you, f you forgot to loot. Oh, oh, yeah, sure. Yes, yes. I loot all the things. Yeah. Kind of funny. Oh, I was hoping for a free shotgun and he only had a shotgun shell. A uh, shotgun magazine. Boo. Boo hiss boo. Right, I still have no idea where these guys are coming from. Even with my eye in the sky, so... I don't really know what else to do. Oh, okay. One's coming over there. And we have no hope of hitting him because he's fucking miles away. Um, can you reach that with your jetpack? No, you can. Oh, yes, you can. By one hex. And then you can scuttle forward one hex and get some willpower back. Moving now. Nice! Um, and then scuttle forward a bit more. And that's your chips. Okay. Yeah, okay, so the uh, sight lines on this are cursed. Um... Yeah, he's dead, dude. Take his stuff. I mean, he, he's not using it anymore. Oh, I can see him from here. How much whooper I got? 12. This isn't going to work. And I have a funny feeling if I miss, I might hit something important. Can I get a sight picture before I spend my willpower? No, alright then. Okay then. That is awful. That is pretty god awful. Probably not worth the attempt. <laughs> um I mean if I dinged him, that could be funny. Ah, fuck it, let's do it. Holy shit, that wasn't half bad. Oh, no, I, I hit the objective. Whoops! Ah, uh, I thought I'd hit the... Uh, oh, dear. That was not what I intended. Um, But good to know. Good to know. We've learned a lesson. I shot the asset we were here to, pro to, to protect. Yeah, I was like... That was a really good shot for that range, and that's why I was actually hitting a stationary object that we're supposed to be protecting. Yeah. Not not my proudest moment, I will be brutally honest. Uh I wonder if we can be cheeky. Wedge ourselves in No no, that's a terrible shot. Nah, just wedge ourselves in there. That's fine. He's probably gonna go for the other guy anyway. Uh, right, sniper. Do you know what the sniper needs? The sniper needs a goddamn jetpack. Oh! 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 That's a thought. So if the sniper multi multi-classes into heavy, we can have the heavy armor torso... And they can jetpack into position. 
and then go into Overwatch for one action point. That's that's a combo. That's a combo. Sniper needs an assault cannon. Well, if I give if I make them a heavy, then uh, they they can have the assault cannon. <laughs> And a jetpack. In fact, they could have an. If they could have that and a jetpack, they could have both. Oh, 12 percent accuracy. Yeah, there is that about it. That's true. What is this guy doing? He's just flancing about. Um. Okay. Can I? Hmm. Did I hunker down? I didn't hunker down. And I don't have quick shot. Damn it! Uh, cause if I had a quick shot, I could get over here and... Ah, oh, Nads. Should have hunkered down next turn. A uh, previous turn. Never mind. There's a... Oh yeah, there is a ladder! There is a ladder! Uh, however, I feel this guy may well be the the very last um, individual. Right, this one does have quick shots. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, can't see. Uh, we can move forward. No, that still won't work because I need two action points to fire the gun. Oh, uh, okay, never mind. Hunker down. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Okay, that's fine. The walls! It's the walls! Um, right, where's Quinn? Oh, Quinn might be able to get an Overwatch in here, actually. Wait, does he have a gun? Is he a spitter? I don't know if he's a spitter. He might be a spitter. No jokes. Can heavies get quick aim? Yes. Uh, in Terror from the Void, you can multi-class. So, um, both of my heavies, I've multi-classed into Assault. Uh, so they've got quick aim. So they can have the jetpack control and quick aim, which means they can jump and shoot in the same thing. Oh, is it a vanilla feature? I have never known. Having never played vanilla, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, since it's an assault skill, uh, a heavy assault can have quick aim, which is quite cool. Whoops. Oh, I forgot. I can actually make this Overwatch cone, like, insane. I forgot about that. Let's do that. Oh, wait, hang on. There's, there's a, there's a important thing there. I don't want to shoot that. <laughs> don't shoot the important thing. That's, uh, lessons for everyone. Um, right, again, if I have one willpower point left, I can still go into Overwatch. Don't want to shoot my own guy in the head, though. Moving in quick. Right, let's narrow the cone. What does that look like? Uh, awful. Awful and terrible, and terrible and awful, so let's not worry about that. Um, hmm. Right. He's now got 4 AP. He still can't see the bad guy. Got jetpack control. No, that's... Okay. Ugh. Shouldn't be out in front of the barrel? Yeah. Yeah, there is that. I hate this map. <laughs> I legitimately hate this map with a passion. Right. Now that's the cannon. The cannon actually has halfway decent-ish range. What does that look like? Again, don't hit. That looks terrible. Because he's shooting through the ladder, I'm guessing. Oh no, he's got a, he's got a, he's got a side picture, so that should work. Let's try that. Yep, 
Yeah, they shouldn't run you in front of... Bro yeah. The civilians in the Ascent really had no sense of self-preservation in the slightest. I mean, comedically so. Oh, oh, oh! Holy crap, I hit him! Victory! That wasn't too bad. I was slightly amused that, it, that like, the world and his wife was, like, wedged up in one corner. That would have been 100% other than, unfortunately, I had some errant gunnery on my part, so, uh... Never mind, I... Right, what do we get? Um, 47 tech, 394 materials, 281 food. Don't mind if we do. And we stole a shotgun magazine. <laughs> uh, oh, analysis of the Pandoran's behavior is revealed the location of their colony. A new Pandoran nest site is visible in the geoscape view and may now be targeted for attack. Hey, okay. After a six... Oh, this is another good reason to do Haven Defences. Okay. It will be revealed immediately. Okay. Uh, yep. Top that up. Top that up. Um... Oh, okay, there it is. Pandora Nest. Uh, it has Delirium, though. That means I'm gonna have two... I'm gonna have Delirium 2 on everyone. Uh, I really hope we can find a counter to that at some point, because that could be awkward. Okay, so there's the other one there. They're okay. I mean, actually, all right, well, I mean, they're kind of okay. Hmm... So everyone loves us if we destroy the Pandoran nest. Okay, operating range, 2,000 kilometers. So this must be the thing that's been attacking everyone then, because that neatly places all the places that we've been trying to defend in that radius. So, okay. Right, got level up here. Right, what do we have here? Close quarters evade. Attacks from enemies within 10 tiles deal 25% less damage. That sounds good. Gun cutter. Shoot with your handgun for free. That also sounds very good. And I can afford both of them. Make him huff. <laughs> yeah. We we did actually, we did in the previous in the previous one, he did huff the gas. He was he was a happy boy, huff the gas, yeah. I mean, I see no reason not to take both of those. I'm going to be honest. Now I actually remember to equip him with a pistol, which is, uh, yeah. I'm a little bit worried about how we can get rid of this whole delirium thing. Oh, Pandoran colonies. Destroy a Pandoran colony. Requirements not met. Oh, okay. Myrmidon op autopsy, okay. Uh, can we not reverse engineer that shotgun thing? Apparently we can't. That's awkward. He's an orc high on fighting. Yeah. They really do. So if I send these guys in here to, to take out this nest, they're going to get two points of delirium. Oh, boy. It did say... Where did it say? Different ways of living with delirium will become available with Phoenix and Faction Research. Okay. Mm. Why do California girls always go to the bathroom in troops of three or four? Because they can't even. Oh, oh, oh the pain. Um... 
Okay, we can rest up here because it's not too bad. I really want to go in there and have it give it a kicking. But I'm worried about what will happen to my dudes if I do that. If he doesn't huff the puff, he will go poof. Yeah. Construction complete. Okay, where's that Jericho? Okay, they repelled the re they repelled the attack. That's good. Oh, 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 right. Manticore. Elite training constructed in Haven Freeland by Synedrion. Okay. I don't think we have access to that kind of thing, but okay. Right, I'm gonna put a save in here. This is a bad idea. Now, the question is, not only should we go in here and blow this up, can we go in here and blow this up? That is the... That is the thing. Because if we get there and it's full of stuff we can't handle, that is a problem. Um, But I guess we'll never find out unless we go, so I don't know. Blast the area, if only. Okay, threat level medium, enemy Pandorum, Delirium area, okay. Locate and eliminate the hatchling sentinels to destroy the nest. Be aware of Pandoran defense systems. Sentinels will trigger if a soldier is in its sensor range or attacks them. Eggs will hatch if a soldier gets close. Continuous attack. Oh, God. Is this a good idea? Uh, too late. Well, it's not too late, but... This is where I saved. Um, okay, so this guy can huff the mist, so that's good. Um, I do wonder if we should. Oh no, we still can't because it costs like nine hundred materials to build the to build the new um, build the gunship that has more slots. So I don't know. We may well be restarting this at some point. I'm just going to leave that one right there. Yeah, probably a good idea. Okay, wish us luck. We're going to need it. He will have a field trip in that mist. He really will. Okay, Pandoran nest mission. Locate and kill the hatchling sentinels. Be careful when approaching a sentinel, it will trigger a mass hatch unless you kill it in one turn. Don't split up your squad, vehicles can be effective in nests. We left the vehicle at home, hilariously. Right, there's the Pandoral Sentinel, okay. Okay. Pandoran Egg, contain worms or mine fraggers. Okay. So what I'm hearing here is we need to do as much damage to that thing in one fell fucking swoop on the trigger. as we possibly can. Remove ability mass hatch, remove ability proximity detection, okay. First base is not so bad, but I'm not sure with the mod. <laughs> Now we do have armor break, so that might be worth it. I figure we want to burn this down like ASAP. I'm guessing. So let's see what happens. I love she just yells at a gun as a as a as a thing. Okay, it's alerted, which means it's preparing. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Right, okay. Um Probably an idea to go oh no, if she goes if she goes on Overwatch, can she even see anything? Oh yeah, she can. Right, okay, where are my big fellas? 
Yeah, this situation might be where the um the hell cannon might have been an optimal choice. Operative on the move. Because it's so fucking big, uh you probably won't be able to miss it. Whereas this thing, I've actually got a potential chance of uh, uh, missing. But if I hit it, it's probably dead. Not bad! A gun that can't miss a barn. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. So we've taken that out. So that's good. Um... I've just noticed uh, we appear to have trapped some of our dudes due to poor positioning, but this is fine. What does a pistol shot look like from there? Uh, gun carter. Shoot your handgun for free. So we could shoot it three times. Up a shot. I mean, that's not great. I gotta be honest. So that's probably not worth it. <sighs> Um, okay, so he's got 14, which is fine. Taking action. And then if we do hunker down, that'll make shooting easier next turn. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, you've got a line there, actually. Let's try that. So we've got three points. So if we did quick aim, we could shoot twice. But then that makes it less accurate. So actually, that might not work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's preparing. That's fine. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Just in case something comes boiling around the corner. Uh, he can't do anything. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, let's evacuate. Don't want to do that. Uh, I'm supposed only has one AP left. Let's jump there. And then we get swarmed in all directions and die horribly, probably. Here comes the Phoenix. Okay, let's pull that there. There's a lot of bad guys in this, holy shit. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, this is the invisible mushroom man. This isn't going to go well. There you go. He's done the invisible mushroom man thing. So, now, of course, what we could do we could dash into the mist, half the mist, and reveal him, and then hope that somebody else can shoot him. That would be quite handy. Uh, I need to kill the hatchling, then you can run it. It says destroy all the hatchling sentinels, so we haven't killed... We haven't killed all of them yet, so I'm guessing there's more than one. Uh, hmm. Wait, is he invisible or did he just do the mist thing? I think he just did the mist thing. Action points one. One point three. That requires two. This is probably a terrible idea. Right, I can huff the mist for two. 
Oh shit, there's another there's a hatchling there. Fuck, didn't see that. Okay, uh, half the mist. Mist huffing. Was expecting slightly better than that, but that's okay. Um, right. Okay, so... That was an alien's moment, if ever there was one. Thanks, Math. Ugh. Oh, this is pretty intense. Okay. Now, hilariously, because we huff the mist, we can still dash backwards. So if we dash backwards... Okay, okay. Right, where's Cretan Bob? He's good with the nades. Uh, I think throwing a nade over there is a sound plan, if I can actually get the angle on it, which looks like I can. Moving now. Nade! Uh, actually, if I did quick aim, we can nade for... Oh, no, shit. No, yeah, we can nade for two and shoot for one. Okay, that's, that makes sense. Yeet! Oh, that cleared the mist, too. Okay. Okay, so he's not very well. Uh, the egg is still up and about, but that's okay. Um, right, Quinn's got four. So we could get in there and shoot the Triton, I guess. But then we still have the egg. Egg. Lining up a shot. Oh, it's only a poison worm, so I think I'm less worried about him than I am the other guy, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, now we can do a quick aim and shoot somebody. There we go, that makes sense. Let's finish him off. Nice. Okay, where's my heavy? Um, so he can shoot for two points this time around. Is that, is that good? Okay. Nader is the more violent covenant of Mater from Cars. Yeah, exactly. Oh! That's actually pretty good! Took one down. I'm okay with that. And it left something behind. Probably uh, ammo or something, because it had a pistol. I'm assuming we're heading in the right area. I'm just in the right direction. I this this is just pure guesswork at this point. Okay, that's not so good. There's a lot of bad guys in this. Okay, so we've got contacts over here as well. Okay. Because I suppose this map isn't actually as big as it looks. Oh no, okay, so we literally... There's only one direction we can head in. Which is this way. Okay, I see how it is. Right. Where is my sniper? Okay, what that look like? Pretty good if he wasn't hiding behind a shield, but then if I use armor break And then did it I might be able to take his shield away Uh, Like so that works Um, Right we need somebody guarding the rear that's going to be a terrible shot, because it's miles away. Yeah. Okay. So maybe if we... Somebody there. I mean, that's a, that's a crappy Overwatch, to be honest. But I don't know if he's going to make it that 
far. He might do, actually. They're not getting past me. Right, let's get the heavy over here and see if there's anything that's going to leap out at him. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I guess we've got to head in this direction. Ugh, this is tense. Green bulb. Actually, green bulb, can you go and can you go get that? I think all that is is just a magazine for a for a pistol we don't have, so it's probably not that important. And obviously, there could be a bunch of things lurking on the other side of this, so I'm going to overwatch that because it's anyone's fucking guess. Um. Uh, she could do Overwatch, but then uh, I run the risk of shooting my own dude in the back. So let's keep moving with uh, the sniper. Oh my god! So many moving parts. Um, right, he's the axe guy. So axe guy, in fairness, could probably run over here and be perfectly happy with the situation. Right, what have we got? Uh, let's have a look. Uda HG, independent handgun. 50 damage, 17 range, 1 action points, 8-8 eight, eight versus... 50 damage, single shot, 18 range, it's it's exactly the same. <laughs> In fact, it's marginally worse. But, um, fuck it. I'll take it anyway. Also, it's it's full, so he actually has a backup. Wait, can I put another pistol there? He's not like dual wielding pizza, uh, pizzas, dual wielding pizzas. Yes, dual wielding pistols. Cretin Bob, no, Cretin Bob. It's a bit of a running joke from um, BattleTech Advanced. Um, Bamboozle did the redemption to to call him uh, Cretin Bob. Not not Cretin Bob, no. Curitan. <laughs> right. Someone's going to come barreling out of there as well, which is... I just realised I've overwatched my own guy. Oh my god. I'm getting tired. I'm making even more dumb mistakes than usual. Um, Right. Let's... Oh, you do not have a huge amount of willpower. Get over here. Uh, hunker down and make the next thing cheaper, but then you don't have an awful lot of willpower left, which is bad. Uh, right, that's it. Bad decisions across the board. Oh, there's two of them back there. And they just shot at me. Okay. That's not great. Stealth. I don't worry too much about stealth. Oh, you triggered my trap card. Oopsie. Okay, so there's another Triton something or another back there. What'd that look like? Uh, head. Removability, silent echo. Yeah, let's go with that. How much willpower you got? 10 out of 16. Uh, let's just shoot him. Ready to fire. Gotcha. Okay, hit the torso. That's not too bad. Um, can Quinn finish him off? I've got this. Bit of a long bomb. Bit of a long bomb. Well, he's not feeling very happy. That's a that's a fluff. Okay. Where is my can he can he huff the mist? Huff the mist, sir. Okay. That didn't help a huge amount. Well I gave him some willpower points back, so that's good. Uh I mean the pistol is not gonna I mean, we could try the gunslinger thing, but let's face it, the hit chance is abysmal, so that's that's going to be a waste. Oh, that's a very complicated tactical situation. Tomato, tomato, exactly. 
Right, that does not have my guy in the cone, so that's good. Right, we have not moved very far. I have noticed this. There was a contact back here, but I don't know how much the goddamn mist is back there. On the move, oh, enemy spotted. Where? Oh, okay. Giant jellyfish. Okay, giant jellyfish is ahoy. Okay. So... Can we draw on a line of sight in giant jellyfish? Apparently we can't, because the mist is in the way. Son of a bitch! Now, we don't want to plink at it, because if we plink at it, and we don't kill it in one turn, that is bad. So, we need to kind of draw a firing line and go from there, I think. Running in there with the axe-wielding lunatic, probably not the best idea. Okay. Oh, he's actually got line of sight in the jellyfish. Okay, 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 okay. I take it back. Okay. Yeah, no, we haven't got enough. We haven't got enough. Um. Ah, oh, it's so annoying because it's the hunker down. Oh god. Also, I need to uh, up bring their willpower back up. I should have rested them this turn. Actually, that would have made sense. Omar doesn't care because he's got willpower of the uh, willpower of the goddamn gods. So. Let's make this happen. What does that look like? Oh no, that'd be quick aim. No, again, we haven't got enough firepower to take it out in one go, so let's not worry about it. I'm trying to stay out of the mist. Moving to position. Heresy treason, yeah. Bastard. I forgot he had a gun. Well, luckily, he's a really bad shot. <laughs> okay, so... He's going to be lurking back there taking pot shots at us, so that's not fun. It's interesting it says that the, the jellyfish shows up, but it's not actually a target for them. Okay, that's interesting. Heading out. We're kind of trying to hold the extraction point. I got this covered. So, see if that works. Right, okay. Uh, one of my heavies I need to get out of the way of the other heavy, so... Uh, let's see, action points three. That's still action points three, okay. Oh, the brain melt is setting in. The brain melt is setting in. Okay. So what has he got? He's got the machine gun. I don't think that's going to be very good at that range. Also, the sniper would probably be a good option here, but uh, that's awkward. What does that look like? Pretty bad, but it will do, would do a shit ton of damage if it landed. Or we can use quick aim and we can do that in something else, I guess. Let's try it. Terrible. Kind of, kind of makes sense that that was terrible. Um. We could do that again, actually. Yeah, I'm probably being a little bit too cautious. Oh, that was good! That was solid! That was a solid hit. Uh, unfortunately, he's now occupying the only space I can see the damn thing. Oh, booger. Has anyone got any grenades? He's got some grenades. Okay. Can we get close enough to nade it? Okay, that's not that's not close enough to nade it. 
heading out. There's definitely a contact moving back here. I just don't know what it is. Uh, um, we reduce that by one. Don't need to do that much to it. But more than that. Oh god, no, that nearly that's he's nearly out of willpower if he does that. Oopsie doodles. We have made a slight error. Okay. So yeah, he can't even get line of sight. I can't shoot it and have line of sight, which is really awkward. Oh. Axe guy is not very helpful in this situation. I mean, if he hit it with a pistol from that range, that would be hilarious. Here comes the phoenix. Oh, he can't. Okay. Or can he? Oh, hello. Uh, shoot your handgun for free. Yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Uh, try it again. Actually, wait a minute. I can do this a second time, can't I? Ah! What? Yes! <laughs> oh, wait, we didn't have, we don't have to evac. Okay. We learned some important things there. Okay, I thought we'd have to do that and we'd have to evac, but apparently not. Um, don't underestimate pistols. That's what I say to that. Now, admittedly, we've got Delirium 2, which is... which is... not good. He's a genius. Uh, reading your... reading your skill descriptions is probably a, a good, uh, good starting point, it has to be said. Okay, items recovered, uh, crappy pistol, and crappy pistol magazine, okay. But everyone loves us for it! Good okay. to be working with you. If we're going to save the world, we'll need all the help we can get. At this stage, we've granted you low-level access to our network and set up a liaison office to work with your people. But, as I'm sure you can understand, we need to take things slow at first. Your organization has a reputation. It's hard to know which side you'll take, and we need to know that you share our values. Okay, so, yeah, we've kind of, like... <laughs> also, the fact we may well actually go and raid their base at some point. So, I'll say understood. At the moment, we're setting up a mission to recapture an old satellite control base. Oh! What for? Well, there's a saying in New Jericho, Tobias West always has a plan. And he has a plan for the equipment and the data we can get from that base. You'll find out more when the time is right. So, are you up for it? We'd really appreciate your help. Okay, we're kind of we're kind of getting uh getting into bed with New Jericho here, but okay. Uh yep, yeah, replenish that, replenish that, it's fine. Okay, so uh first base down. That's that's not shabby. That is not too shabby. Um Complete research Pandoran colonies. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Uh should be investigated as soon as possible. Okay, I'm gonna put that just behind Pandoran Evolution, which has only got ten hours left. Eventually we're gonna get to the basic bio bionics, but um not for a little while. Hatching Sentinel, Minefragger Egg, Worm Egg. Might not be a bad idea to have those lined up, actually, as well. Yeah, uh, to be honest, that's why I don't... Um, <laughs> with some of these games, obviously, it's like I'm nattering away to myself, and also there can be a lot of, like, actual reading. So I tend to not 
obviously it was a voiceover line, so I wasn't going to read it myself. But I tend to not read everything because I just lose my voice. <laughs> so. Um, okay, we're going to queue these. In fact, what I'm probably going to do, I am going to save myself some aggro here. Right. Pandora and Evolution, 10 hours. Uh, Sentinel, Mindfragger, Worm, Pandora and Colonies. Uh, Triton Autopsy, Triton Autopsy, Bionics. Eventually that Bionics will get done, but um, not for a little bit, I feel. It'll probably help us if I did get it done, but there we go. Oh, hang on, Diplomacy 1. Uh, oh, okay, so Sinedrian and, oh, Sinedrian have given us a mission. Sabotage Disciples of Anu Heaven. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're kind of getting to the whole diplomacy thing here. It's a slightly, uh, eek. Okay, now the question is, where is the base they're talking about? Phase 1. Recapture a satellite control base, okay. Prisoner of Ice? Oh my god, that's all the way over there. Holy shit. Uh, complete research, Pandora and Evolution. Yeah, that's working. I'm a little bit reticent to go raiding the, uh, raiding the Haven. We've just, like, signed a treaty with them, and it's like, incidentally, can we just break into your base and steal your stuff? Is that okay? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, actually, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna save here. I should have done a save before I, I did all that, but never mind. Oopsie. Jericho. Jericho likes us. There you go. Every 25 faction rep to give you a special mission. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Right, we're going to uncover these other things here, I think. Right, hang on, where is this? But uh, it was phase one was there. Okay. Was there more plot? Okay, we got a rather base there. Oh god, yeah, we've got a we've got a we've got a serious situation on our hands here. And there's another base there. And there's another base there. It did make me laugh when they said, Oh yes, you must find more bases. And then when I found more bases, they were like, You you've explored too many bases. I'm like, which is it? They're clearly not the friends and allies they should be, yeah. What's what's a little what's a little raiding and pillaging between friends? Yeah, exactly. Okay, that's another uh Jericho Haven. That seems to be a really bad place to set up, but okay, sure. Okay, lost lifetimes, exploration site. Uh, abandoned village. Half the houses bit of slipped into a crack in the ground. It's been an earthquake. Yeah, the red is the sort of Pandoran creepy mist thing that's uh, expanding. Yeah. Food 90. Okay, that's not too terrible. Except it says rotten food. Why? Why? Okay, sure. Uh, ooh, and there's one more, one cheeky one down there. Oh, Pandora Evolution. Okay. Gradually developing resistances and counters to our weaponry. Yes, they decided they didn't like getting shot in the head. Okay. Works for me. Yeah, it's it's already kind of progressed. It was kind of limited to this bit, and it's already kind of it wasn't on the threshold of these two. Jericho bases before, and it's, it's also going to get our, our base fairly soon, which is kind of funny. Okay, what have we got here? A luxury shelter. An underground facility so extravagant it beggars belief. Hmm. 
Donate the equipment to Jericho, donate the equipment to Sinedrin, or disable the lighter equipment and install it in our facilities. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. Okay. Did that... Oh, that was no tangible benefit at all, as far as I could tell. Oh, well, never mind. Oops. Oh, we're at plus nine food now. That's good. That is good. That means we can also recruit people. Oh, Christ. That base is right on the infestation chance 40%. Oh, oh, God. Uh... What do we do? What do we do? Panic, anarchy, bees. So I'm guessing there's no easy way to make this shrink either. I really feel like we could do with a second team, but I don't think we can afford it. Because what would we need? We would need a, another manticore. Which is 75,600, which we can afford. And then we need... what? Uh... More food than we've got to round out a second squad, I think. Yeah, that's tricky. There's a later game item you can build? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Is it a giant vacuum cleaner? Because that would be really funny. We can steal a ship? That could be amusing. Who hates us? Anu doesn't like us very much. It's an interesting concept. It'd save us, it'd save us some supplies, that's for sure. Um, should we do this phase one thing? I don't know. I feel if we go all the way to wherever it is. Oh, mind you, this is the, this is like the last one of the big ones. How far away is it? Oh, too far away to be reached directly. Oh. Oh, okay, so we haven't got the support network to reach that far. Okay, I see it. Mega mind set to blow mode? Yeah. <laughs> it's that it's that gif of that guy where he's going like and, and his brain's exploding. Ah, I'm just trying to think what my optimal next choice would be. I mean we could go and do the capture the base to buff our rep with Jericho, and then go free this lass, which will hurt our rep with Jericho, and something like that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah, because yeah, I figure you have to have a stopping off point, so I'd need that base. No, hang on, where was it? Uh, fucking miles away. Yeah, like that. Wait, hang on. Is that another manticore? That's a free manticore over there. What the hell? So if we could get over there, that's a free manticore. But they were saying about not activating too many bases all at once. I'm not sure what the downside of that was. Um, but I just noticed they have a free manticore over there. Um, so that's interesting. Let's go have a look at this, because I'm literally at a loss as to what my optimal course of action is, to be honest. Old enemy, new enemy. There have been increasing reports of severely mutated humans attacking patrols throughout the world. These creatures are referred to as the Forsaken. Uh, and have already established new Jericho and Disciples of Anno. Extreme caution is advised when visiting exploration sites. Lovely! Great stuff. Too many options. Yeah, I know. Due to resource costs, every subsequent base costs more than the last one. Ah, okay. Well, I figured getting, like... Uh, do you know the one thing I didn't do? I did not build a satellite uplink over here. Which I probably should have done. Can I afford to build a satellite uplink? That's the question. 250, 100? Yep, I can. All right. I feel the satellite uplinks were a good idea. 
Yes. Okay, hatching sentinel. There's a living DNA laboratory, constantly mutating new variants of the Pandoran creature. Okay. Well, we kind of got the hang of that when we were doing stuff, so that's good. Okay, exploration site. Tobias West's plan to save humanity involves gaining control of this old satellite control base. A small surgical strike team should eliminate the alien presence before new Jericho scientists and engineers move in. Okay. Uh, by small, you mean the only one we've got currently. Did I skip the priority research? Uh, oh, what, like the Pandoran Colonies one? Oh, that's a good point. They said I should do that as soon as possible. Good shout. And that's a good point. That's a fair point. Reading. Reading. Okay. Uh, all items of the battlefield will be recovered after mission success. Okay, cool. If you find the ambush missions too challenging, consider playing with the reveal, exit, and ambush early option enabled. Oh, okay. But variants don't read, they just play headbutt to problem. Yeah, sounds like me. Depends Depends on which day you catch me on, to be honest. Uh, okay, to secure the area. Well. My first idea... is taking the high ground and getting a good looky loo. Oh, there's a willpower. There's a willpower spot up there. We'll save that for later. Watch this. Absolutely bugger all. As far as the eye can see. Interesting. Unless there's something lurking indoors. There might be something lurking indoors. That's probably very bad. I would have liked, like, one enemy to have been revealed, because now I'm concerned that they're lurking behind here. And also I have to bear in mind that the uh, Pandorans now have guns. Of a, of a limited variety. Okay, I'm going to overwatch the bottom of this building because I don't trust it. Nothing's getting past me. And now I have to make sure I don't put anyone in front of that because they'll get shot. <laughs> I don't like it when I don't know where the baddies are. Do you know what I should have done? I should have looked at everyone's skill points and see if I couldn't have given the sniper heavy training. At which point they could have a jetpack, which I think would be brilliant, because they could just leap onto the roof and snipe at everything. Moving in quick. Not the high ground, Anakin! Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here. Join him in overwatching this building, because I don't trust it. And then our mad axe guy is just going to run over here. He kind of looks like a member of Slipknot, to be honest, with the sort of orange jumpsuit. Not that, you know, Slipknot carry axes around, but <laughs> that's kind of what it reminds me of. Okay, now what? Oh, they're on the other side of the map. Okay. Set that one. 
Okay, yeah, he's got regeneration. Yeah, we know that. And he has a gun. Regeneration and a gun. Two bits. It's clearly other stuff I can't see. Okay, so my instincts weren't entirely wrong. It was just in slightly the wrong situation. Right, now, what we can do. We can jetpack here. Use... Uh, providing we can actually see him from there. Yes, we can. Good. I love the preview on the sight lines. That's really quite handy. Uh, we can jetpack... He said, double checking. Yep. Jetpack here. Uh, use quick aim. And... Probably ventilate this guy. Oh, oh, we spotted another one. And there's another one up there. That's okay. That's fine. Right. Regenerate this. Oh, yeah. I like those. I like that. That's definitely the range to use that gun. Okay. Oh, there's another one over there. And one, okay, okay, okay. Right, so this is awkward. Right, so we're probably just going to have to run like holy hell, because we're not going to be able to overwatch much from here. Um, Yeah, bearing in mind these guys have guns. Okay, so we're going to go... We're going to go a little aggressive here. Let's rock. Here they are. Uh, is that the same enemy or a different one? Oh, it's a different enemy. Good. Well, in that case, uh, tuck yourself in there instead. Good work. Uh, now actually I could do... I could actually do Overwatch. With, um... Is, does Quick Aim work with Overwatch? I think it does. Yeah, okay, let's try that actually. It does. Okay, I'm alright with that. It's a little sketchy, probably isn't gonna work. Holding position. But that means we can cover everyone else when they come lurching in like maniacs. On the dance floor. Okay. I'm starting to like the heavies now they've kind of um the cross class stuff has kicked in. Because the heavies with quick aim is is uh, are just great. <laughs> that makes an absolute world of difference. Right, so these guys have two points delirium now, which is uh, very not good. Right, I'm going to leave him there, just in case there's some melee issues in a minute. Murder on the dance floor is figurative and not literally. <laughs> yeah, it's true. That is a crimes. Oh, she can overwatch... Well, I keep forgetting she can overwatch one one willpower. Area totally worth it. Okay. So we pushed up, which is good. Not pushed up. We pushed up, not pushed up. That is pushed up. Right, let's see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, you can get shot. Oh, no. Or I can shoot that wall. I shot that ATM, specifically. That ATM was very naughty in a previous life. Uh, so I shot it. Okay, two shield boys coming in. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, three shield boys coming in. Oh, that's, that's, that's fine. And come on, lucky shot. No, I shot a I shot a crate. I shot the hell out of a crate. I shot the crate, but I did not shoot the dustbin man. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um okay, so we've got a cheeky little boy wedged in here. Um He's got fifteen Willpower points. 
Hey, Gothic, how's it going? I killed that crate good. Yeah. That crate looked at me funny, and uh, I told it off. I think I can ventilate this guy without actually using any willpower points, which is probably a good thing. But then there's a bunch of melee boys around the corner. They made that really awkward. Are they going to try and flank me? They're going to try and flank me, the motherfuckers. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. I did not shoot the boxy thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh... This is fine. In fact, this is so fine I can actually shoot him twice. If I cocked it up the first time, which I somehow don't think I will. Oh, he doesn't have a gun. Okay, that makes it even better. Can I actually stay up here and shoot him? Oh, I can see I can see some I can see him. Now, if I tuck in here and shoot him, I think that's a good shout. So I could tuck in, quick aim. Uh, and oh, I forgot about the instill frenzy. Got to remember about that. And I can hunker down. Yeah, that works. Do it. Do it now. What? Oh, they are all in here. There's another guy on the roof I had not seen. I am definitely getting off that roof. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. So they 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 are doing a vicious outflank. Okay, that's fine. No, it's fine. Right, and then we do... Uh, do, do, do. So that makes that... Two willpower points. This should work. This should work. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, now I can either move, or I think hunkering down is a good idea. Let's do that. Cool. Okay, so we have a problem. They are either going to come running down this side, where we can't shoot them, or are they going to be really stupid and run this way? So we need to kind of, like, half and half this a little bit. Um, or we start chucking grenades around. That's always a possibility. Now, I don't know if these guys have actually got guns. If these are all melee, then it's not going to be that big a deal. Um... Hmm. All right, Axe Guy can't do anything about Over... Oh, wait, no, he can go into Overwatch because he's got a pistol, but it'd be really, really crappy Overwatch. Um, so that's probably not the greatest idea. We could have him lurking around the corner, and then if he did come around here, we could probably take care of them. Where's my sniper? Brutes have machine guns. Yeah, we've started getting the we started getting the evolutions come in. Um, so that's fun. Uh, wait, willpower is only uh, Overwatch is only one. Okay, so if we go here and cover that off see if that does any good I bet they won't come through there now that's not great but it's what I've got okay uh the cannon is pretty awful at overwatch so if we just legged it forward and then hunkered down, I think. And then if he did come out this way, we can try and mow them down with the other two. In theory, maybe, I hope. He'll be coming around the corner when he comes. <laughs> yeah. He'll be clicking like a crab when he comes. Show him butter, and he's mad when he comes. <laughs> I'm losing the plot. I didn't have a very good light sleep last night. I think it's beginning to show. Uh, if you wave a fork at him, he probably runs. Um, yeah. Oh, I gotta remember, this guy can cover so much fucking ground. I keep forgetting about this. I think maybe this guy should have that hat back. 
because we used the the Anu hat to offset this guy's willpower. And while it's coming in handy, this guy can sprint like a crazy person. So maybe he should have the hat back. I don't know. <sighs> okay, we've got we've got to cover off this middle bit. That has to be done. Uh, quick aim won't help here. Okay, I don't think that's going to work. If we move... I'm going to put him in, like, the, the center position. So he might be able to axe people. And then I think we're going to overwatch this side, just in case they get out. Plot lust did you have? Yeah, about right. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, hello. They took the stupid... They took the stupid route. Oh, no, they didn't. They're over here and hitting this guy. Never mind. That's fine. That is fine. I forgot how fast these guys can fucking motor. Dear God. No, uh, Overwatch didn't help. Oh, poisoned. That's okay. That's okay. This is fine. Oh, shit, there's another one. Okay, okay. Is that the medic? Is that our medic? Uh, No, that's our grenade guy. I'm sure he has a med kit. He does. Unfortunately, that's going to cost him an action point. And then he's not going to be much else good for anything this turn. But that's better than being poisoned. Right, we'll come back to that. So the thing is, this thing does not have very much health left. So using this on him seems excessive. Um... Okay. Now, quick aim doesn't work with grenades, which is annoying, because a grenade would probably be quite useful right here to weaken those two. Uh, where is my sniper, and can she see anything? No. That's... Oh, wait, no. Okay. Again, not optimal use of a sniper, but if it's guns off the board... Yeah, we could have handled that better. We, we could have handled that better. Wait, that's going to leave a uh, three? Okay. That looks like a fucking threading the needle shot there. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Firebird. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Bash! Oh my god, you're so right. That only costs one action point. I forget that's there. Top tip. Thank you for that. That is actually... Yep, I forgot that was a thing. Thank you for that. <laughs> Good shout. Alright. Slightly, slightly buggered my gun, but that's fine. Oh, actually, that buggered the gun quite a bit. That's okay. Alright, that gives us options. That gives us options. Right, okay, what do we got here? Okay, now the cool thing is, I can shoot twice. Because I hunkered down, I can use quick aim, and we can actually shoot twice. So that's good. That's, that's, that's options. Right, what does poor old Karit and Bob do? Can't throw a grenade, because that costs two. Yeah, I think, I think we'll go back to the, uh, this guy. Because I think he's in a fairly good spot. So, what we do, if we do quick aim. Right, that should give us two shots. Right. Uh, can he really see the other one? Oh, we can see both of them. Okay. Right, let's try, uh... Down in one! Uh, 
in fact, we could do quick aim a second time. Oh, no, we can't because... Oh, piss. No, because it takes two shots. I keep... I mix that up with the, with the assaults. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Oops. Yeah, that was a bit of an oopsie. That was a big oopsie. Okay, we'll come back to that. Still, it's in a better situation than we were. Right, he's got still got one willpower, uh, action point left, so that's fine. Right, that looks pretty solid. I, that, that was pretty solid. Honestly, the first time I heard that noise, I thought it was like a giant fart. That was, it was really quite funny. I was like... Okay, now, is that everyone, or is there one guy left? I think it might be... That might be one guy left towards the back, I'm not sure. Um... Okay, so... That looks like an easy one. Oh, also, we got the axe guy in reserve. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Because this is funny. Hello. Uh, in fact, we can do it again. Pushing on. And then we hit him very hard. And he is now very dead. And we won. Yay! I completely forgot about that bash. Thank you very much for that, Firebird. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, the whole bash you in the head with the rifle thing. Damn. Oh, boy. Well, that was, uh, th that escalated quickly and de-escalated just as fast. Jericho is now supportive of the Phoenix Project. Uh, oh, nice. Defend them to earn reputation. Failure to defend a haven under attack will lose some support. Okay, so that's a bit of a double-edged sword. Okay, fine. Oh, what's that? The Pandorans are evolving. Okay, we knew about that. I just wanted to pass on my personal thanks and congratulations to your operatives for their work at the base. Fortuna eruditis favit, as they say. Fortune favors the prepared mind. The intelligence we've retrieved is going to prove extremely helpful with all the projects we're working on. And the satellite control tech may one day help turn the tide of this war. This operation may have seemed like a small thing, but the devil's in the details. And so is God. Okay, sure. Speaking Ooh. of details, we'll now have to actually make all of this work with our hardware and software. We have limited resources, so we need our brightest and best focused on the job. It'll take time, but it'll be worth it in the end. You'll see. Put a V8 on a moving stair and escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, puns. Oh, okay. Uh, Vanadium Neural Link West has doesn't make him any smarter. Oh, so this is this is the mod stuff here. If anything, at New Jericho, they have the tech for much deeper neurological enhancement. I wouldn't surprise they could merge merge West's brain with a slaved AI. I mean, uh, why why would you why would you do that? Don't understand. Okay, sure. Uh, yep, yeah, replace that, replace that, replace that. Okay, so we've actually got a decent amount of resources now. We could almost start work on a second squad, you know. Almost. Um, okay, satellite coverage is nearly up. What's that question mark? I don't know why that's a question mark. Wait, wasn't this a... Uh, wasn't this a... S Anu base at one point? Have they just nobbled it? I'm not sure. Hmm, perplexed I am. Okay, so... Yeah, we've nearly... Because I've got... I've got a spare... Spare assault at the base. 
Uh, still not quite there yet. We could build another manticore. That's doable. Forgot about that grenade launcher entirely. Ooh, but then do we have enough food to recruit? If I don't know. I still feel hanging on just a little while longer might be a good idea. What about the third squad fest? <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. We've nearly got enough resources to do it, but not quite. Also, what is the, what's that? That's is that like seven of eight? Oh, living quarters capacity. Right, we need to build more living quarters. I'm glad I noticed that. Um, at least uh, missed one stream and a half. Nice progress. <laughs> uh, to be honest, uh, I mean this is only the second time I've played it. So we we have got quite a lot done in this stream. Um, because yeah, this is this is only the uh, no second time. Third? No, hang on a minute. Now you got me thinking. Jesus, I can't remember. You know, I'm gonna have to look at. Hang on, I'm gonna have to look at my YouTube page. Hold on a minute. That's how out of it I am. I can't remember how many times I've streamed this. <laughs> right, hold on. No, this is this is the third stream. Yes, I'm talking absolute nonsense. Yes. Yep. Yeah, you 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 saw when I started the campaign on uh Wednesday last week. Uh so you've missed Saturdays. Yeah, cuz uh I did a stream on Saturday. Ah, delirium. It's time to introduce all these purple numbers and pibs. Oh, crap. Wow, 36 stamina? Holy shit. That's a, that's a lot. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, incidentally, actually, after 24 hours, if you want to go have a look at... Uh, wait, have I got an actual Express YouTube link? Let me check that. No, I don't. Okay. Um, buried in there is my YouTube channel. So uh, if you do miss any of them, uh, you can go and watch them on uh, the YouTubes. Okay. Um, pay attention to a near delirium events. Learn when the cap is changed. Okay. So purple bad. Got it. Uh, thank you very much, Moonice Plays. Much appreciated. Okay, so so far we're not being affected by the delirium-ish. Okay. I wonder, actually, if I'm gonna st I, I stop focusing on the skills for a little bit and up the stats a little bit. I think that might be a good shout. Because willpower is clearly how you get shit done. Even as awesome as these skills are. But let's have a look at this level 5 one. Okay, reloading and inventory actions do not cost action points. Okay, that's pretty cool. Master Marksman? Hang on, what? Okay, accuracy with a proficient weapon is increased by 30% while there are no spotted enemies within 10 tiles. Oh, okay, so that's a distance thing. Got it. Um, so we have all the DLC... And I'm currently using uh, Terra from the Void. Uh, Terra from the Void. Uh, which you can find the link to there. So uh, all the details on that are there. Uh, Terra from the Void needs all the DLCs. So uh, I, I had to get them by default. And what's this one? Volunteered. Night Vision. Plus two speed, minus two willpower. They gave you cat eyes and reflex enhancers and nothing for the headaches that came after. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I think maybe, like, willpower needs needs work. Because I didn't I did remember one of the hints was kind of like, boost the stats before you start spending for things for skills, and I completely didn't do that. <laughs> So I feel more willpower is probably better. Okay, so the max is 20. 
I mean, let's not count out strength either, because that's not useless. Um... Right, what have we got here? 60. This is Omar. Right, so what have we got? He is heavy with assault training. Okay, so we've got Skirmisher. If you take damage during enemy turn, your attack still 25% more damage to the end of turn. That sounds good because these guys get hit a lot. So that works. Yeah, that that's pretty good for like the uh utility guys I've got. The, the the assault guys that are good with grenades and med kits. So that might be worth looking into. Skirmish is pretty good. Oh, and there you go, he's got that as well. Corpse disposer. Fire resistance. There were too many to bury, so you had to burn them. Day after day, week after week, it's not the fire that scares you. And we haven't come across fire yet, so... Interesting. Skirmisher sounds good, though. I'm gonna take that. Um... Alright, the reason he's got massive willpower is because I put this, this silly head on him. So, let's... Crank that a little bit. And... Maybe a little more speed? I like having a speedy heavy. That's actually working out pretty good. We'll take fire resistance at some point. Yeah, it, it sounds like it could come in handy. Um, Right, what do we got for level 4? Oh, new class. Okay, that's going to take... Now, what was I saying about the sniper? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we pick... If we pick Heavy as the second class, we can give her the Jump Pack Torso, and then we have a Jump Pack Sniper. Which I think could be really funny. <laughs> Even though it does cost, like, 50 skill points, I'm mighty, mighty tempted by that. Fire really hurts when you're moving out of burning area. Yeah, that's a good point. But the worst thing about accuracy. Stealth, uh, four percent accuracy. Actually, what is the? Do we have a spare heavy torso? Oh, accuracy minus eight. Ah, that's what we were saying. Okay, so it does knacker the accuracy a little bit. Is there a bonus for being higher than your your um? target? Is there like a height bonus or something, or does it not matter? But yeah, it does bugger the it does bugger the accuracy a little bit. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Okay. I'm gonna go for it. Um... Okay, so we should. Uh, okay, I want to experiment. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Because it's literally just the torso, so we can have the jetpack access. Oh yeah, that was my, that was my other thought. Yeah, because um, uh, because of where the hell was it? Uh, extreme focus. Uh, yeah, that you could Overwatch one one AP. That's a good combo. We're going with that. I like that idea. Uh, this guy's kind of okay. I'm amazed this guy hasn't died yet. I gotta be honest. <laughs> He's doing pretty good, all things considered. Um. Does that give willpower? And perception. Hmm. Oh, wait, hold on. I think I just figured it out. Because this guy, this gives extra accuracy. That's why the guy with the machine gun's so good, is because he's wearing the hilarious hat, which I forgot about, but never mind. Hey, Wolf Warrior, how's it going? 
Right, where do they get to? Uh, right, Cavit Point Man. Um, hmm. A bit more speed, maybe? Second, where is he getting? Okay, so he's getting the speed penalty off the armor. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's put a little bit more speed in and a little bit more willpower because they use. They go through a lot of willpower. So that's not too bad. Right, quintessential. Speed 19. Oh, I think he's got a couple of skills that work on that. Okay. Again, let's boost willpower. You have a priest heavy dude, but body six relation with Anu. How? Right. Uh, I don't quite know. Where... Right. What happened was. <laughs> um. We bought this guy. Um, from Anu quite early on. So he came with all the clobber he's got here. The weird priest armor, I just found in my inventory. I'm not sure if it was part of the DLC. Half of the priest armor I've actually left in storage, even though it does have an accuracy bonus, so I probably should be putting it on somebody. Um, but the primary reason I put the uh, helmet on this guy is that at the time he didn't have any willpower. Now he's got 21 willpower because he's wearing the crazy helmet. So, uh... <laughs> embrace chaos theory. Uh, don't worry about it, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, he's not actually a priest. He's he's just wearing the priest hat. Okay, cool. So we have a jumpy sniper. Um, everyone's buffed their stats a little bit. This should be fine. Okay, let's go back to the Geoscape. Let's put a save in. Okay. <laughs> I'm just working with what I've got. Uh, uh, peace through jumpy snipers. That's what we're going to call that. Awesome. Right. Okay. Uh, we're going to bring things to a halt because it is 10 to 11 here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, brain melty. But, uh, we got quite a lot done in that, so that's, uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, starting to get a little bit on the overwhelming side, but, you know, fun, fun is still being had. I'm entirely convinced it may all go down in flames at some point, but, you know, them's the breaks. So let's just double check that saved, which it did. Excellent. Let's quit there. Okay. Thank you all very much for being part of the stream. It is much appreciated. Uh, I will be back tomorrow alongside the Chaos Collab, which is me, Robotic Battle Toaster, or Battle Blam, and Bamboozle Ballet. We're probably going to be doing some MechWarrior modded, heavily modded MechWarrior 5. Uh, so tune in for that. That should be good fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to do another couple of sessions of Phoenix Point after that as well, as you can see on the screen. Um, as always, you can find all my assorted links here. Um, I just had the uh, uh, called the, the bot message for stack up. That is also in the chat. Please check that out. Um, Chuck's a follow if you enjoy what you're seeing. Um, I also have a Discord in my links, which is more often than not the best way to get notified when I'm going live, because sometimes all the notifications go screwy, as things do. Um, and I think that's about it. So, yeah, do hang around. We're going to go find somebody to raid to round the session off. And yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. So let's have a look-see. What have we got going on? Oh yeah, it's Monday, isn't it? Um, let's go raid Mech GM. He is a fine chap. He is doing some headbrain schemes battle tech at the moment. I shall put his channel in the chat just in case. Please be kind when you raid, and I shall catch you next time. Take care of yourselves in the meantime. Bye bye.